Hey guys, welcome back to Steve Reads a Comic. It's been a while. It's been a month. I'm Sean. Hello, Steve. Hey, how's it going? Rob. <laughs> Rob's drinking, of course. Hello. There he is. Oh, right Rob now. froze for a second. What does oh, that mean? Fine. There's going to be little glitches here and there. Nothing's going to be perfect, but it's way better already. Rob Versus- has gotten faster internet and a new computer since uh, we last talked, so this is good. Yeah, Steve said, I got a computer for you. It's a piece and- of crap. <laughs> so which which microphone are you using? Because you sound like asshole. <laughs> yeah. I the gave mic- you a mic. The mic doesn't work, man. Even it- with the new computer? Molly said, I haven't tried it with the new computer. I so yeah, it probably works. It works. It works. <laughs> we it tried works. it with her computer from work and it didn't work. So. It worked when I gave it to you. So yeah, what did you do to it? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Rob's uh, all, Rob is blue. <laughs> yeah. Rob, Rob is <laughs> Rob has been pulled from the Matrix. Steve is still in the Matrix with his green. This is hilarious. This, this is where I want to be. Blue. I never wanted to be extracted. I always wanted to just stay here. <laughs> so, so a lot has happened since our last episode. Um, for instance, I went to Memphis for the first time in 27 years. Uh it's been, no, well, it, has it hasn't been, that, been long. that long. It hasn't been that long. But it's been a while. And uh, yeah, I flew down to see my boys, have a good time. And then uh, I got surprised with an early birthday present, which I have somewhere over here. I will show you. It is a, a CGC graded copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number four. And by number four, I mean the original volume one, number four. Tilt at 45 towards this the camera. There you go. Right there. Boom. Is that better? That's it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So Steve actually, <laughs> Steve did something thoughtful for possibly the first, maybe second time in his life. <laughs> what, um, was, what was the other time? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just figured I wasn't there for it. Um, the first time I've witnessed anyway. But uh, yeah, he got me this comic book and it's really cool. Uh, so thanks to both you guys. Uh, he, he had, uh, he had some people contribute, go in on the cost and yeah, we had very surprising. Don't forget Keith, Keith put in on Keith, Rob, thank all you guys. Uh, I thought it'd be out. I thought it'd be on the wall mounted and everything. What are you doing? You just pulled it from where'd you under the fucking couch? Where was that from? Anything with it yet? Because CGC doesn't. They don't make it so you can hang them up. You got to like buy all kinds of hardware just to hang stuff up. Yeah. Like, and it's the one I have hanging up right now has, uh, it's a reprint of issue one with Kevin Eastman's autograph on it, but that's because I put it in a, a different kind of case that's meant to be hung up. So I don't know where it's going to go. I'm kind of, I'm redoing my whole area here. I want to clear out a lot of this stuff. Um, Whatever you do, then, don't cheap out on mounts because yeah. I did that and I was watching a movie and the bass kicked in and, everything just fell off the wall. I was like, <laughs> okay. I was like, Is that what broke your subwoofer? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know why those aren't working. I bought a new one <laughs> since Sean has left. Does it oh, work? Oh, yeah. It works great. So I don't know what the hell happened to those other ones. Is it a floor firing or is it? Uh... No, no, it's the same as the other one. Oh, okay. Well, point, like I said, point it at a wall. You'll get a little bit more bass response, especially in a corner. I just bought like it because it was cheap. No. Yeah. It was like 150 I was like, will do. Uh, so, so yeah, so did I got you to have see fun? Steve's... You had fun in Memphis? Yeah, man. I got to see Steve's theater room and, and make his screen look decent. Cause it looked like asshole because <laughs> he doesn't know how to calibrate anything. <laughs> I got to fix Rob's TV who had motion smoothing on. Like that's the, <laughs> like that is the most old man thing you can do. And then, and then argued and said, nay, I do not have motion smoothing on. I go right in the settings. I thought there it was it off. <laughs> I'm very sensitive to that setting. So I could always tell, even if it's on a low setting, I'm like, you have motion smoothing on. Like I can just tell right away, especially with, with 24 frame content. Rob, it, you, you it turned it back great. on after he left, right? <laughs> uh-uh. Really? Oh, wow. No, I don't care. <laughs> well, some people prefer that. So I was just wondering. I used like, to watch TV on black and white screen. <laughs> um, some people like it for uh, sports. I guess that'd be fine. But for movies, no. For sports, it's fine. You get, you know, a smoother, even smoother picture. But yeah, for, for stuff filmed at, at 24 frames, like you don't want it increased up to 60. It just looks goofy. 
Well, mine opinion. looks way better. So thank you very much. Are that you was, happy? Yeah, it looks completely like a whole different. Like my projector is so much more, so much better now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. wow, I didn't think this thing would look that good because I kind of cheaped out when I bought the projector. They had a bunch. Yeah. They had a bunch of different lines that were much more expensive, <laughs> and I was like, I ain't going that far. But uh, yeah, yeah, you made it look good. You made made it I look think, like I think a high you just quality. Had- you just had your contrast blown out a little bit. That's why you were getting that weird um, posturization issue. Yeah. But yeah, I like fixing stuff like that. So, but yeah, I had a great time. Uh, you guys, Molly, Kristen, Keith, Becca, uh, yeah, the kids. But, but but we were we were expecting just you, and then yeah, so, Sean got it as a surprise. So yeah, at the same time I was. <laughs> getting my Ninja Turtle comic book, I get a call from my wife who had been texting with Rob, uh, unbeknownst to any of us in the room. And Rob was like, you need to call Sean. So she calls me and she's like, Hey, I'm driving down to Memphis tonight. She's like, I had a really (laughs) bad day. Had to go to this funeral for uh, my friend's kid. And it was just, it was super depressing. And she's like, I need to come and see you. I was like, Oh, oh, okay. (laughs) I was, you know what? For me, if I'm having a bad day, the last thing I want to do is drive 700 miles. So you should <laughs> you should take that as a huge compliment from your wife. See, yeah, I did. I was man, it, that was a huge romantic gesture in my opinion. That was that was a big deal. And like, it's, well, she wanted to surprise you. She's she's like, I'm coming down. I was like, okay. But then she's <laughs> like, don't tell Sean. I was like, nope. <laughs> you, you didn't want now, that granted, responsibility she, she will be driving at night by herself and i'm like nope mm. nope i'm not i'm not saying she's not capable culpable but you know that's just too much pressure <laughs> dude, I've dude, it's, an accident you don't know where right. she's at i just you know ugh. Well, that and i've you know steve and i've made that trip at night and uh <laughs> where, <laughs> where we started taking micro naps and it took us a while to realize it <laughs> We were in different vehicles and we were watching each other swerve off the road. And we were both just like, what's that all about? It's like, wait a minute. I'm swerving off. I think I'm falling to fucking sleep here. Yeah. So yeah. I was very concerned. I couldn't sleep that night till, till she got there. But I talked to her like a little bit before she got there on the phone. And she's like, no, I'm fine. I'm listening to podcasts. And she was just zooming. Dude, like, you know what? I've noticed podcasts, like listen to podcasts on a trip. Man, it makes the trip so much shorter, you know? Yeah. Like way shorter than if you listen to music. Okay. You'll just, you'll just, you know, you'll get into what, you know, someone's saying. You'll just zone out. Next thing you know, you're in fucking Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a bad drive on the way back. I, I didn't drive. I just, I was in the vehicle. I mean, other than the fact that Maggie's a horrible driver <laughs> and I kept like, I'd like fall asleep and then I'd be I just like, I'd go sliding forward because she'd slam the brakes <laughs> on. And, uh, I'd be listening to an album and I'd be like, oh, I'm only one song ahead of where I was. <laughs> is she so, a horrible driver or is she just want to wake you up? Like, fuck this guy falling no, asleep. She, she like follows too closely unnecessarily. Like in it's it's just it's very weird to me. I don't that's something I don't like to do is to follow close. To, and maybe it's because I, I drove for seven years. Um, but uh, Steve looks frozen. Can you hear no, me, Steve? No, I'm still here. Oh, OK, um, but uh is he frozen on your screen, Rob? He's pixelated really bad. Oh, uh, okay. He's just Ask him if mine. he's on wireless or if he's... Uh, <laughs> wait, Ethernet. wait, you can hear me fine, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so well, let's just keep... Let's All right, we'll just keep through. going. But, it, so but anyway... You do um, Ethernet or are you wireless? Wireless. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I'm on wireless too, but anyway... Um. Yeah, but you so have yeah, was, like... You have like one gigabyte of speed. <laughs> I thought that's what you guys had too. I thought you guys had like 1,500 No, nah, man, I only get... I can only get like 150 to my house. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. you. I thought you had like. What do you? I have I you a got 200 like... plan, but or the 500 oh, okay. plan, but I can only get 150. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. I'll ta- dude, yeah. I'll take frozen screen as long as I can hear you guys in real time. Like, let's yeah, yeah this that's is fine. Because yeah, you're frozen right now, dude. Bad. All right. So, anyway, um, but yeah, I had a great time. We ended up staying like two or three extra days, which was unexpected. Yeah, I think we stayed like two more days. That was um, nice. And while we were down there, we got to do something we haven't done in a long time, which is go <laughs> see a movie together, the three of us. Oh, that was and so Aiden. much. And, and uh, Rob's uh, Rob's son, Aiden, was there, and we went to go see Eternals. That was so and, much uh, fun. 
<laughs> Let's talk about that experience. Let's talk, Rob. Talk about that experience. Talk about that experience. That? Yeah, some guy in the movie theater wouldn't shut up. That's what the bad experience was. Who, who Rob, is this guy? Rob who is this said. Guy? Rob said the phrase, "I lost respect for you after the theater." He well, said who, that. Who, first of all, who's he talking about? He's talking about you. Talking about you, Sean. So he's talking about me. So if you had respect for me, that's your fault anyway. <laughs> that, um, was a, that was a bold statement. I lost but, respect um, for you. So I, I have to retort because between <laughs> Steve Aiden and myself, we all agree I did not talk during the movie loudly. I only ta- I did talk loudly during the credits because I was very angry at the, the horribly boring, uh, bloated experience <laughs> I had to endure. Uh, even though I fell asleep twice during the movie, one time probably for about 15 minutes. I think the other time was only for a few minutes because I, I looked, checked my watch hoping that more time had passed and it hadn't. <laughs> and um, so if I was snoring, I do apologize for that. But yeah, I did did not actually talk loudly during the movie. I, I wouldn't do that even for a piece of shit like this. But I did talk loudly during, during the credits while we were waiting for the credit scenes. And man, what a piece of shit, man. This is, <laughs> this is the worst thing Marvel has shit out since, uh, I don't even know what Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2. So it just. Spoiler, terrible. spoilers, right? We're talking. All the spoilers. There All are, right. spo- do me a favor. Spoil something from the Eternals. <laughs> what, what do you think is even qualifies as a spoiler? When Sprite in this got fucking- hit in the head. <laughs> when, when somebody hit somebody in the head with a rock that was the best part <laughs> that that yeah. was the best part that uh this movie was tough to stomach for sure especially after all the you know history we have with the mcu it's like oh man it felt dc it felt so bad it was a justice league problem you didn't develop any of the characters you tried to do it all in one movie yeah, but at least and the Justice they, League characters like were cool. Yeah, you know, I'll give you like, that. At least you you had some familiarity with the Justice. At least you know yeah. who Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman, and the Flash are. Right. Like you're familiar. Everybody's familiar with those characters to some extent. The Eternals, and there's I forget how many there were. I think there were 37 Eternals total. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was a ridiculous number. It was actually it was 10. only 20. There were 10. 10. There were 10. There were, <laughs> there were 10 fucking Eternal. 10 people we've never fucking heard of ever including me who you know as a comic book reader you you know you can't read them all you don't want to read them all so you know i i heard the word eternals here and there but i I never read them heard of them know anything about them and know nothing about them still don't want to know about them have no desire to pick up a comic book uh just everything about this movie um from the design of the suits to the dialogue to the quote-unquote plot the villains were lame Oh my God, the villains! Jesus Christ, look like straight out of Avatar or something. It was so bad. It just every like I I can't think of any redeeming qualities in this movie other than Salma Hayek's boobs. Like it, I didn't. Even, you don't get to see them. I, I was gonna say there. like, did I miss something? No, they just know they're there though, so that's a comfort. But um, mm. did dude just so bad? And you then, did wait. I, I thought you liked Karoon. Who? Oh, the, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's your guy. That's your boy. That's your comic yeah, relief guy. <laughs> he was the guy who uh, followed uh, Kingo around with the camera. Boy, oh, boy that yeah. whole Kingo thing. Is that his God. name? You actually remembered his name? Yeah. Rob doesn't know who the character is or what his name, but he's still salty over his perception that I ruined the movie. <laughs> I didn't say you ruined the movie. I said you shouldn't talk. During the movie, and I didn't. And, didn't and I didn't until I couldn't hear you until about three quarters of the way. And well, I still never said anything loudly. Like Steve asked me to if repeat I can myself. Hear when you, I hear you, it's too loud. You, it's you, you were probably false. getting louder because you were just getting more and more angry. <laughs> so you're probably the tone of your voice was probably going up as well. That, yeah, he's like me. He, he, Sean gets animated when he, when he's excited too. His voice goes up. <laughs> I know I, mine I, does. I, I guarantee nobody outside of the four of us heard anything I said until the credits. You you have about 10 feet of space in front of you and behind you in that movie theater before the next person. There's no fucking way anybody heard me. You Uh, weren't whispering, man. Until the credits. You were not I was absolutely whispering. Again, three versus one, three versus one on this. I think that was Rob's first time going with you to a bad movie, though. (laughs) Well, normally... 
That's what that's what I'm telling him though. It's it's irrelevant whether it's bad or not to him. Somebody may like that. A kid may. Okay, but here's that what's might irrelevant. Be their favorite movie you're, of all time. You're lying. Three people say that I wasn't doing that. You're the only one who thinks so. False. You are fake news. I am not. You are fake, fake news. news, dude. If I can hear you. <laughs> It's loud. That doesn't mean anything. I was I was spicing up the movie with my my commentary. <laughs> was I not, Steve? I made Aiden laugh. I and made Steve laugh. Opinion. I'm just so, saying, you, you know, like some old man that saw Star Wars. I, I'm not comparing this at all to Star Wars. I'm just saying. Sounds that. like you are. It's it's relative. Like we like Star Wars. Some old man didn't, and he's talking through the movie and ruined that kid's experience. You know what I'm saying? There was but what kid there, it, it, that I doubt, not parallels listen, line up. I doubt that any kid <laughs> in that theater liked this movie. That, but they it, couldn't hear me. No. There's nobody else in a row. There were two people in the in the very front who were laughing were. at I some very you. bad jokes. They Next were really time, laughing. If I ever go to a movie with you, I'm gonna ask the person in front of me if you can hear your loud ass talk. And <laughs> do it. We'll just I do it, thing. absolutely. Especially <laughs> at that theater. There's literally ten uh-huh. feet. <laughs> Ten feet of space. This is a, that is the hugest like uh, stadium style theater I've ever been in, though. Like, is there yeah, not it's like nice. 10, Isn't that it's nice? insane? Yeah, how much like like when you recline in your seat, there's still about five more feet from the edge of your recliner until the wall. Yeah, that separates you from the from the row that's below you. Yeah, it's they, insane. They just redid that theater. They downsized with the seats, you know. And, yeah, and made them more. They had added quality. Oh, that's true set of quantity so yeah that that theater we love especially during a pandemic you're like i'm not close to anybody this is nice you know yeah that that's I've, we don't have that up here that i know of anyway yeah but um and then the, the other thing being just uh the fact that i would have walked out of that movie like like we saw other people people in our screening walked out after about half the movie was over there was more there was like four people that walked out yeah, there was more. <laughs> There's a lot of people who left and never came. They back. probably walked out because you were too loud. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, that's that it. was it. They were like, "Can I get my money back?" There's a fucking asshole that's ruining ass. this movie. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I I would never do that. Rob is a liar. I will I will say that. I will I would even as for a shitty. Normally I would just leave though. I would have just no, left. I, I'm I'm just telling you, you because, and it's it's in it's in general. If you don't like something, you think everybody else is the same opinion you, and that's not true. You see what I'm saying? Oh no, I don't believe that. But again, you're going back to the whole thing that I was being loud during the movie, and I wasn't. That's the whole thing. Like you're saying this, that, and the other, but I wasn't loud during the movie. I'm not saying you were talking the whole movie. But no, you're saying I was loud during the movie. I was not loud during the movie. When I go to the movie theater with people. They need to zip it, and if they want to talk, so you're like you're like Susan from Seinfeld they're, when she went whisper. with Jerry and Elaine, and they were they were talking about the movie quietly, and Susan's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> like, <laughs> so you're the Susan of our Seinfeld group. That's like, <laughs> you were you were leaning over and, and talking to me, you know, but it wasn't like yeah, uh, it, but the and during, I had a mask on, yeah, like <laughs> during so, during, the, I mean, during the credits, you know, when the when the it got more quiet, then. Then you were loud. I I agree then, with Rob then I on had that. To be heard, yeah. yeah and no, yeah. I absolutely know for a fact that most people don't agree with me about the movie. Uh, hence, we sat through the whole thing. I asked Steve if we could leave. <laughs> At one point, he said, "What was? Oh, when the the two gay characters kissed each other." And I I was I didn't know that was about to happen, but I leaned over to whisper something to Steve. And he's like, you made me miss the gay kiss. And I was like, I will gay kiss you right now if we can leave. Like, I, I was that desperate to get out of that movie. And he just laughed. He thought I was being funny. I told I you, I said, are you sure you want to see this before we went? I was like, you're risking COVID for something that looks really bad. I said, are you sure you want to see this? Oh. I was like, we can see Bond again. Rob says, like, we'll go see Bond, you know? So I wanted to give it a shot, and I I always uh, I always make that mistake. That's what I do with Ghostbusters. And, <laughs> like I want I want to be like, hey, maybe maybe the maybe the trailers aren't telling me the whole truth here, but no, they they're giving you the whole truth, man. That's the <laughs> best that movie has to offer in those trailers. What, let's get That's back. It. Let's get back to the movie. What were some some shiny moments, Rob? Uh, when Sean 
started talking. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. What did you like about the Eternals? There had to be something you like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's racking his brain here he's really going through it dude with that chick guy hitting the head with I, a rock that's dude, it we all laughed at that they, that was great that i was, know what they were going favorite. for it they were trying to do something different but they did not succeed at all you know well that like one the, that the ending meeting. was horrible it was so anticlimactic. it was it was you got 10 people and that's the kind of ending you can come up with yeah, like two of them got killed. One of them yeah. just left. He was like, I don't want to be in the third act. And he yeah. left. Um, yeah, the one guy's like, I'm done. I don't want to fight. I was like, what? And we never saw him again. I was like, until yeah. the very end. Until the very end when he popped back up. It was like, um, yeah, he, I'm not going to fight. I was like, okay, man. And it, then, it, had and all, then, it had all your bases covered. It had uh, a disabled person, uh, a gay person, a uh, Hispanic um, a lot of multi ethnic people, eth- ethnic groups. Yeah, yeah. Sean, uh, Sean said something women. that was funny. He's like, "Imagine if a- you're a celestial and you're creating these perfect beings, and then you make one that can't hear." <laughs> yeah, they made a deaf character. <laughs> which, okay, let's let's do- delve into this before I become ableist or whatever. But uh, I think a deaf superhero is a great idea. However, in this particular instance it makes zero sense because we find out the Eternals are all created by Celestials to be superpower beings that can yeah. uh, defeat these creatures. So why would you give one a disability? Like, <laughs> uh, that's not it. What sense does that make? Like, well, yeah, maybe... like, it makes perfect sense. Accident, blind, <laughs> super height, heightened sense. Well, that's why, that's why she could run that's, so fast that's there, because though. one, one, her, one of her, um, senses was impaired so it made the other so it made her fast <laughs> wait fast that's not even a sense i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> oh that was one thing i liked uh i love the flash and i thought they did the speed i thought it looked good on screen i thought they did the a speed good job special effects yeah. instead of the, doing the slow motion zack snyder bit yeah yeah exactly <laughs> with the fucking guy with you know he can't run I, yeah I she was it. actually fast yeah, she looked yeah. good. She looked good running, and you know yeah. that they did the speed effect very well. I thought so. I'm hopeful for the next Flash movie. So if I could sum up what I didn't like about this movie, all right. Um, well, first of all, if if they're gonna bother introducing the Eternals, which I don't know why they bothered, like they're going too epic with the Marvel universe. But the, to me, the Marvel universe is the small, you know, neighbor your neighborhood Spider Man. It's Daredevil. It's Punisher. It's Captain America. Hawkeye, all these characters, Iron Man, characters that aren't Superman and and larger than life. Now, those exist in the Marvel Universe, but those aren't the popular characters for obvious reasons. So I I feel like they should focus more on those. And they are. We got a Moon Knight series coming out. We got She-Hulk coming out. We we have this other stuff. But like this movie literally added nothing to the entire franchise. Like if you never saw this movie, I can't imagine you would really feel like you missed anything going forward unless they said somebody's name, which they would explain who it is anyway. Um, But it added nothing in that regard because they did a movie instead of say an eight episode Disney plus series. uh, You didn't care about anything going on. I wanted everyone to die. I wanted the world to blow up. I didn't care. I didn't like anyone in this movie. I'm seriously struggling to think. Did they think Uh, snow, I guess. Did they think they couldn't do a, a a series because the special because of their powers they'd have to have lots of special effects and they didn't want to spend the money? Is that why they didn't go the series route or something? I honestly don't know what's going on over there now. I just I think they're kind of getting high uh, on themselves and they just think everything they touch is gold. <laughs> so they're like, oh yeah, let's do the Eternals, <laughs> you know, as they're fucking hitting their crack pipes or whatever. But like it. It, it was just, like, why? Why the Eternals? And, and Moon Knight's getting a series, which yeah. we saw a trailer for. Um, I, I think he would be great movie material. Um, we saw a trailer. And then you have... That? Yeah, they kind of yeah, short. It's like a 30-second yeah. trailer. Oh, yeah. He must have been talking. I didn't see it. Um, <laughs> no, 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 not at not the theater. Not at the theater. It was on the internet. Steve, I think Steve sent it to us. Oh, um, no, he didn't. But, uh, Maybe he did. I think I sent it to the Steve Reed's page. But ultimately, 
didn't see it. The the worst thing this movie did is is boring. It's just fucking boring. I, like yeah. you, I don't follow this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> neither does any but, of our other listeners so you're all right but uh but yeah it's just it's a boring movie though like there's there's just nothing to latch on to that to care about to like to enjoy the costumes don't look cool the writing sucks the characters are shallow as fuck the Dude, relationships the fucking, aren't developed the, enough the love uh dynamic between Circe and icarus was fucking horrible they had no chemistry whatsoever <laughs> and, and it didn't even make sense and We're it was supposed yeah, to care it was all forced you know and it's just yeah. like i i this is this is so bad uh, i thought it was gonna be like a love triangle because she had a boyfriend on earth and then you don't see him till the end and he apparently is somebody else you know what well, i mean it's just, it was a love triangle until icarus flew too yeah. close to the sun <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh, Sean leaned God. over. That was one of the things he leaned over and said. He's like, "Hey, yeah, I guess I guess Icarus flew too close to the sun." I'm like, yeah, it, but it was one of those this... moments where it's like, "Wow, could you be more obvious?" Like, it's not even <laughs> symbolism at this point. It was like, it was Jesus, bad. it was bad and boring, just like Sean said. Yeah. It was boring, and like you know, like you said, that's the worst thing you can do. Like, it is. It's it, so we we spent. Uh, one of my last nights in Memphis, we watched Twilight together. <laughs> Twilight was more entertaining, right, than this movie. Now, granted, we were just like doing a Mystery Science Theater three thousand version of it at the time because I thought that would be fun. And that this is actually no, no, a no. suggestion I have for people. What the acting in this movie was better than in Twilight. <laughs> yeah, but that's what makes Twilight more enjoyable because it's so bad. <laughs> okay, that, now that, that it's easy to laugh at. Yes, but you can have a good time with it. That, I that I agree. The only thing I could do to this movie was fall asleep. That was my only escape was <laughs> sleeping and quietly bitching quietly, and uh, that, that was it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Rob's dead. <laughs> So, Master. yeah, if, if you want to watch something with your friends, don't put on a comedy that people will end up talking over and missing all the jokes. Put on something like Twilight. Just put on a bad movie where you actually want people to talk over it and make it better. Yeah. That was actually really fun. That was a bunch of fun until I had to take my son to the ER. <laughs> <laughs> Which, unrelated to Twilight. Uh, um, yeah, no. <laughs> Dominic was not watching, but yes. <laughs> that was related unrelated. to Sean, however, being around. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah that sounds terrible that no. sounds like a horrible accusation rob i do not appreciate that uh, every time yeah, dom, john... dom had let dom had croup all right i had nothing to do with that that was every, not sean. every time every time sean's around one of steve's family members goes to the ER. it's just coincidence i think <laughs> i don't know well this time was definitely coincidence i, I don't know two about other two. times but yeah I did not give Dom Krupp. You got some kind of that. weird germs going around or pheromones or something, man. <laughs> it's the <a> vaccine. <laughs> I'm shedding the vaccine everywhere. Uh, Dude, that reminds me. I, I got my booster shot, and the next day I got sick as a fucking dog. Dude. I, was, yeah. I just was on the couch. I was feverish and fucking freezing and not yeah. enjoying it. And then I was fine like later that night, but... All day, I was just fucking... And I, that happened to me when I got my very first shot. My, you my mixed, second you, shot... You had the cocktail. You mixed it. You should have stuck with Pfizer. Uh, well, no. But like I said, my very first Pfizer shot did the same thing to me. My second one didn't do anything. It made me like a little sleepy, I think. I think I took like a, a really long nap that day, but then I was fine. This time, I went Moderna. And then, yeah, it just put me on my ass. But yeah, I'm fucking boosted. I'm fucking got the cocktail mixture. I'm going to try to get see if I can get a Johnson and Johnson squeezed in. Um, I'm going to get them all, man. It's a, it's worth one day of misery to not end up with a goddamn ventilator down your throat, laying on your stomach in a goddamn COVID ward. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the one day of misery. When I got the J and J, my arm didn't even hurt. It was a little bit sore when I first got it. And that was it. When yeah. I got this Pfizer, my booster, um, my my arm was fine. I was like, oh man, this Pfizer doesn't even I didn't even know I got shot. And yep. then the next day my arm was fucking stiff. <laughs> and I was oh, like, wow. oh, okay. <laughs> I had a, I, was, I, I got a I was a little <laughs> sluggish, I will say, the next day after I got the shot. But I mean I yep. wasn't sick or not like I still went I mean I still could function. I just yep. I felt a little bit tired. That was about it. 
I had. Uh, I'm boosted. What about you, Steve? You boosted? No, I'm going the next week. Uh, I got my first. My first one was fine, just sore arm. Second one, I had a mild headache in the sore arm, but yeah, I oh, never. You guys are I lucky, never. Man. Yeah, I never got sick like any, like like some people. Maybe I'm just a sickly person. I think I feel like the arm soreness has something to do with just where the person sticks it exactly. Because like Probably. The, the the first two shots I had were fine. This one, my arm was pretty sore. But also the nurses there kept telling me they're like, "All right, you know, do arm movements. You know, rings with your arms, rub it, like do all this stuff, and it'll help with the." the soreness if you do it like right after you get your shot. <laughs> the so first, that's, that's what I did. The first time I I went, the nurse looked at my arm and was like, I need a bigger needle. <laughs> so she switched <laughs> out needles. I was Holy like, shit. Yeah. Is that real? Yeah. What, what are you talking <laughs> the first about? Time I, I went, never heard of that. She switched. <laughs> God damn. She looked at my arm and she fucking switched needles. She put a bigger needle on. I was like, oh, do what you got to do. <laughs> That don't make oh, that's sense. so they can put the five G chip in. That's what that <laughs> yeah, is. that's oh, what. Oh, yeah, you got yeah. the capsule. You've been chipped. <laughs> so she pulls out a needle with like it's like a half inch fucking diameter. Yeah, she <laughs> she, she, she so switched like a lead pipe needle. I don't, <laughs> right. I I don't know if she switch if the gauge was bigger, but she definitely switched lengths. So I was like, oh, all right. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, uh, that makes more sense. Yeah. Um. All right. So hey, wait. All right. So. It, uh, are we still talking about Eternals? Yeah, I was just gonna sum up Eternals. Uh, I, I think uh, thumb, thumbs down, zero stars. Do not recommend. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm gonna have to agree with that one. But what's uh, wrong, Logan? The internet's not doing so well. Oh, uh, mine's fine. <laughs> We're anyway, about to lose. Logan's, a, Logan's uh, having internet issues. What I wanted to ask you about was Shang Chi. Oh you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot you've to watch seen that. that right because it's out now. Yeah, watch the. Uh, so uh, I got to tell everybody this uh, in case they care, or maybe I can make them care. But uh, Disney's doing Disney Plus is releasing IMAX versions of their movies now. Their Marvel, some of their Marvel movies that were filmed with IMAX. Um, it's like I think twelve or thirteen of them up there now, including uh, some of them just have scenes in IMAX, like uh, Iron Man. Just certain scenes go to like a wider aspect ratio. Still doesn't go to one seventy eight to one or one seventy seven to one and fill your screen. It goes to yeah, like one ninety to one. It's pretty close. Yeah, yeah I, watched, um, I watched Black Widow in IMAX, and it was only uh, scenes. It was only okay. Yeah. Shang Chi. I think it was the whole movie. Uh, oh wow! And, yeah, it and was. Infinity War and Endgame are the whole movies filmed that way, and then I think the rest of them are just scenes here and there. I, I haven't watched, watched them uh, yet, though. I watched Shang Chi twice with the kids in the IMAX, uh, yeah, uh, ratio, and then I watched it once by myself. I really enjoy Shang Chi. I had a lot of fun. What do you think? Is, it's a solid movie. I mean, it's definitely it's doing the Marvel formula, um, but with like Chinese mythology, which I actually liked though. I, I I, I love Kung Fu movies, like older Kung Fu movies, just all that stuff growing up in the 80s, ninjas, Kung Fu, karate, all that stuff. Um, so they did a good job with that. I mean, the, like, it's kind of a middle of the pack movie, though. To say I really liked Simu Lu as Shang-Chi. Uh, Aquafina threatened to ruin the movie. Um, her <laughs> I didn't think she was, was that bad at all. Annoying. She was okay at she first. She could have been then, like, way more annoying. They They toned her down. She was pr- still pretty annoying once what, they got over to uh What do you think Kalo. of Trevor? <laughs> Trevor was funny. He's Trevor. great. Ben Kingsley's well, great. Morris. Morris stole the show. <laughs> Morris is funny. Um But uh, overall I like the dude that Simu Lu, he's got fucking moves. The fights look pretty good. Um they didn't overdo the the, the slow mo like I was worried about. Yeah. They they did show the slow mo in the trailer, but that's that's like basically all the slow mo in the movie. Not all of it, but a lot of the fight scenes were very fast paced and they didn't just do slow motion the whole time. And they so used nice. it the way you like it, you know, like it, it yeah. singled out certain things. Like I, I remember one, he leans back and they show like the pendant hanging in the air, you know, yeah, and stuff like that. And, and they didn't right. use it much. So I thought you would well, enjoy like that. Pat, Patty Jenkins uses it as a crutch. Cause I don't think she trains her actors very well, has them trained to, to do the martial arts. So they just slow everything down. So it looks cool. Whereas mm-hmm. I like to see people doing it at speed because it looks to me, it looks a hell of a lot cooler, you know, fight scene, Captain America in the elevator, you know, no slow mm-hmm. motion in that fight scene. They, they, um, they mixed them in uh, both in this one. So it, was, was it nice. wasn't too bad. It was, it, it was, a, it was an enjoyable movie. 
Um, I did wish like, cause I knew the fight, like, it, it, I don't know. It was just kind of goofy at the end when they were fighting with the color coded weapons, like the bad guys had blue weapons and the good guys had red weapons and dragon. Nobody scales, was, man. They were dragon no, scales, <laughs> but nobody was using like lethal weapons. It was just kind of goofy. It was very like kidsy. You know what I mean? The, it was just, <laughs> the one guy I wanted to escalate ending story. The one, the one guy, uh, with the one arm and the machete, Easily, razor fist. E- yeah, razor fist. Easily switched out to a dragon scale. I was like, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, it's, so, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he just locked it right in. No issues. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was just, I mean, yeah, a little bit of goofy stuff. Overall, just an enjoyable movie. I like most of the characters. Um, dude, I love, uh, I love the, the soundtrack. I love the fucking how he beat that giant thing in the end, the dragon. Well, like, see, that was the thing too, like. The dragon thing, like I wanted to just see a martial arts battle to the finish. I didn't yeah. want to see a giant dragon fight. Yeah. Um, but th- they had to do the giant dragon fight. Remember, I, I would have rather just seen a martial arts fight. Remember when I first saw it, I told you it's like uh a crouching tiger meets uh yeah. the never ending story. <laughs> Which I've never seen never ending story. So oh my that's god. Not... Oh my god. Grew up in the eighties, was not allowed to watch movies. I now have that... to say this every time. I always feel bad because I haven't seen something, but it's like, bro, <laughs> I was allowed to watch movies for ten years. Dude, that's a Twilight flick. We can watch that together and just have a good time. Is, is a... it bad? I thought people uh, love that movie. No, I mean, it's it it's... wasn't at the time. When yeah, you're like eight. Now, it, <laughs> now it would be. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed Shang Chi. I like that he called himself <laughs> Sean when he was over here. Um, uh. Yeah, it was, it was just enjoyable. It wasn't anything great. It didn't blow my mind. Um, they did a good job with the martial arts choreography. But again, I just wanted to see it be a little bit more aggressive, you know, especially after watching like the John Wick movies and Nobody and stuff like that, where the, the fight scenes are like just fucking brutal. Um, I enjoy- I know, obviously, they're, they're not going to do that. But I enjoyed, you know, his father at the end, you know, like when he's getting his soul sucked and he just yeah. he, he's remembering, you know, memories of his son and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, and he sacrificed himself basically. So yeah, that that was that was a solid flick though. So Way where do you put that? Eternals. Where do you put that above Ant Man? Uh, same same spot. Below? I'd probably put it above Ant Man just because I my love for martial arts. Yeah. Um, even though I'm less familiar with the character, I just I like martial arts, man. That gives it a a bit, and I like the sister too, like uh, Sha, she Shalu or whatever her name was. Shailene. Um, she was a badass. Um. You know, like I said, the Aquafina oh, thing. Oh, that's it's what like I want to tell you. Training, she gets training for like three hours, and then <laughs> it's like so stupid. I watched, I watched you, so now I'm better than you. <laughs> the, right? Yeah, there was when when she when he was fighting his sister. There was a a move that I thought was really cool that I hadn't seen before. They were both on the ground, and she like kicked him in the chest as she was laying down, and then flipped back up. I thought that yeah. was that was really cool. I hadn't seen anything but like I, that before. I didn't have an issue with her. I mean, yeah, that was a little goofy, the fact that she couldn't train with anybody, but somehow got better than everybody. That was <laughs> some uh some special writing there from Marvel. But um That's because women are better <laughs> better than men, don't you know that? Right. Even if they can't have the adequate training. But it was it was the Aquafina thing though, who literally had like three hours of training and then she becomes a, a proficient <laughs> archer after three hours. I was just like, what? Uh, I didn't see it that way. I thought that was just a lucky shot. She's like, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Think about it. You spent your life parking cars. Now there are dragons and people trying to kill you. And you just learned how to pick up a bow. Yeah, you'll probably nail that shot. But at least they address sure. that in the in the movie. At least they address that. She's like, whoa. No, they, they, what they don't address, they don't address the fact that in a war zone, after three hours of training, <laughs> you're not going to be confident enough to just be like, all right, I'm gonna. You, there are literally hey, dragons. There are people trying to kill you. Hey, there's monsters you've never seen before. What, what if Maggie's out? Fetched. What if Maggie's out there on top of the fucking dragon? You're gonna pick up a bow and you're gonna do all you can to help her. I didn't say I wouldn't, but chances are I'm not gonna nail that shot after three hours of archery <laughs> no, training. I just said it was a lucky <laughs> shot. I don't think they they said. I mean, they said it was a lucky fucking shot. Basically, it was, by the, it was stupid. By the it was scene just after that. that. It was that stupid fucking woke stuff they have to put in there, like the scene in Endgame, where it's just like it's unnecessary. I don't think like, that's a woke scene. I think that's just a typical movie scene. No, it's, it's it is. 
it's and nowadays you can't see it any other way. Like it'd be different if his sister did it. Like his sister did have all that training. She was a badass. Yeah. Um, but they just, they brought in, you know, the valet. Yeah. <laughs> and she's amazing. You know, somebody who's parked a car for a living. That's all she, she's known. What what the normal person would have done was what Trevor did. Just lay down exactly. and pretend, pretend like he was Tre- dead. <laughs> right. Tre- Trevor with the most realistic portrayal of what happens when there's a war going on around you. And you're not a, a fucking trained soldier. <laughs> you lay down and play dead. They pull, that's what you do. They pull in and he's like, that's a weird looking horse why is he staring at me, <laughs> <laughs> why is he staring at me? <laughs> like that movie took a complete turn i'm like what the fuck just happened like when they introduced <laughs> you know trevor again i was like where is this what is happening next thing i know they're in a car and they're fucking going through the fucking mystical realm or whatever i was like all right <laughs> I'll, I'll go with it <laughs> i was on board i enjoyed it overall though even even though uh like i said aquafina th- threatened to ruin it and actually I like her outside of the movie. Like she has a funny uh, show on HBO kind of funny show. It's not hilarious, but it, it's pretty solid. Um, but yeah, just, it was a fun was movie. Saying. I know it was, it was a it, fun movie. I just don't like annoying movie. side. She reminded me of like Rob Schneider and fucking judge dread, you know, where you're just like, shut oh, the fuck no, up. I didn't think she was that. No, nah, she wasn't that bad at all. I think oh, it's her, I think it's nuts. her voice. That's what's, what's getting me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rob, uh, what'd you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I liked it. It was fun. Yeah, middle of the road, like Sean said. <laughs> That's the kind of movie you want to see during a pandemic. Yeah. That <laughs> James Bond, not Eternals. <laughs> not Eternals. Don't go see Eternals, please. <laughs> uh, man, so I liked, bad. I'm... I liked Tenet, but I had more questions afterwards than I did going in. <laughs> M- Mason explained Tenet to me. He watched it with yeah, me. Yeah, no, he, I, he I totally I, followed I, it. I googled it. <laughs> I did oh, the good yeah, Mason just was like on top of it. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, he's smart. <laughs> um, so what else? All right. Uh so the Spider Man trailer. Everybody watch the new Spider Man trailer. Holy I did. crap, that looks good, huh? So I have thoughts. Um, <laughs> Decisions were made. I just I I don't know. This new trailer just made me kind of look at it and go. They're doing the the fan service fucking member berries thing. Do you know what member berries are from South Park? Mm-hmm. So there's this thing where the member berries like remember this, remember that. Like that, they're I think they were talking about like the Force Awakens at, at the time they did this. They're like, hey, re, you know, remember lightsabers? Remember Wookies? Or you know what I mean? Stuff like like that's what it. Hey, re, remember uh, remember Green Goblin? Remember Doc? Go- that's what it reminds me of member berries now, where it's just kind of it's almost lazy. It's like. You're bringing in all this stuff from the multiverse instead of like I wanted to see new versions of Doc Ock. I'd rather have seen a new Doc Ock or a new Green Goblin, especially since I hate that Green Goblin suit and they kept it the fucking same um, fucking Power Ranger suit. Uh, but it just it to me it actually reminds me of Spider Man Three where they just kind of went overboard with the villains. Um, and then the dude, there's a line. Zendaya and there's an exchange between uh, Zendaya and Doctor Strange and I was just like oof it's like that Eternals fucking Ikea yeah. joke you know yeah what she she's say? like I know, I know a magic not... word and it's please, please. Yeah. yeah yeah it's like okay <laughs> shut the fuck you know what's up. not saving the world your sarcasm right it's it's just one of those lines where you're like oh wow they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel with the jokes now <laughs> like it, it used to be really witty with robert downey jr as iron man like his little observations and john favreau and now it's it's become a carbon copy of a carbon copy of a carbon copy and the jokes are just as lame as fuck i know magic wearing it it's please could you please go say i was like oh fucking kill me right now like that because you know i don't know why what's wrong with me that like really bad jokes just trigger me they just when it's there's just so many other directions you could go or you could just not even attempt a joke at that point. You could stop with, that's the other thing. The levity, the amount of levity in the Marvel movie seems to increase. <laughs> the more Marvel movies they make, the more jokes they try to stick in there. And it's like, right. just, just right. stop you're, it. You're like, it should be getting more intense, not more funny <laughs> as we progress, yeah. you know? So I'm a, I've already voiced my, my issues with the fact that they, somebody's wisdom over there decided that, you know what? The Spider-Man suit that everybody knows and loves for the past 60 years. We're going to scrap that. We're going to go with this one. That blows my mind. Like, I just, I will never understand. They had a great suit in Homecoming. And we've barely seen it since then. 
and it just doesn't make sense. Like, Amazing Spider-Man 2 had a better suit than what we're seeing in this movie. It's about the only nice thing I could say about Amazing Spider-Man 2, but um, I don't know. I'm just... I'm not as excited now. I'm going to go see it day one. It's Spider-Man. He's my favorite superhero. It's Marvel. I'm, it's, it's probably going to be good, but I just feel like there's stuff in this thing to the fucking gills to the point where I don't know that I can care. You know, there's no please in this man. That's not true. I love, I like the last Spider-Man movies. I liked what they did with Mysterio. I thought that was brilliant. They took He's like a sea level villain, like Mysterio. Man. <laughs> and they made they made Mysterio great. They did a great job with the last movie. And now they're just like, let's just pluck, you know, let's do member berries. Hey, remember, remember Otto Oct- Oh, that's the other thing they're doing. They're making fun of Otto Octavius's name. That's not your real name. Is that your real name? That's not your real name. I'm like, oh, that just. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see him again because the best fucking scenes uh, with the web and the way he used the surrounding area was Spider-Man 2. And I, I can't wait to see more battles with Doc Ock and hopefully they, they uh But But again, I would like to again. just seen a, a new Doc Ock. I don't know why we need... I don't know. I, 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 I hope I'm wrong. I do. You know, I, I hope I'm wrong. It seems I mean, over stuff. If we though. didn't know about it, it'd be cool. But we've known about this forever. And, and we've known about, you know, uh, the other two Spider-Mans are supposed to be in it. I was hearing Supposedly. one... Supposedly. Yeah. I heard That's the other thing, too. Like... I don't Who's want more Spider Man. <laughs> Same guy, John. John, uh, what? What's his name? John Wyatt. What's the guy's name? The guy who directed the last two. Okay. John well, something. What's I forget Sam his name. Raimi directing? He's directing Doctor Strange. He's doing Doctor Strange. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm still man, I excited. Believe. I mean, I, this looks, dude. I can't wait to see Spider Man go. I, I'm just, man. That this last trailer did not do it for me, though. I was just, and like I said, I could be totally wrong. I, I've been proven wrong, but this. It just seems overstuffed, and it seems like they're doing the whole member berries thing. It's, what did they like, introduce in this trailer that wasn't in the first one? Um, bad jokes. Uh, <laughs> that was a big problem for me. Um, but just they're really focusing on you know how many villains are in it. Like they're just it's just saturated with villains. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it all pans out though. It's a trailer. Uh, the last two Spider-Man movies were good with the same director. You think so that'll be all at the end? Record. So I no, I, I have no idea. I just know that the first two Spider Man movies with Sam Raimi were good too. And then we got Spider Man three. Um, <laughs> maybe two <laughs> so maybe, two's the maybe, limit. <laughs> right. Maybe just do two, move on. I don't know. We'll see. Uh and I, it's funny because I'm in the minority here. Like people are just shitting themselves over this trailer because because of the member berries thing. Like, oh my God. It's fucking the it foe is back. And yeah, that's I mean, people are just loving it. I meanwhile, I'm just kind of like uh, I like I like the smaller I like like Spider Man three would have been great if it had just focused on Spider Man and Sandman, that would have been a great movie. And without all the Venom shit, the, the horrible Venom they did, because um, Sandman they made him a sympathetic character with a cool power set. Um, and now again, there it's it's just like a shortcut. It's just you know we're we're gonna bring these guys in. They don't have to introduce anybody. You know who everybody is. Uh, maybe it's a way to just get to the action or whatever. Uh. So again, it's I'm talking about a trailer, so who fucking knows? I, I just thought they were just introducing all this to set up the multiverse of madness. They're just letting all these people come through or whatever. Yeah. But that, those <laughs> stories, again, just kind of going back to my proclivities, I never liked those stories in the comics either. When when they do the huge crossovers with all that, like when they did the multiverse in Spider-Man, um, the, what the hell was the name of that storyline? Dan Slott did a whole thing with the multiple Spider-Men. Um, Secret and, Wars. No, it was it was literally like Spider <laughs> I, Island. It had I, something to do with Spider Man. I Spider-Man took a Man shot. Movie. I haven't read that. Um, <laughs> I took a shot. That's the only one. Spider, I knew. It was Spider Verse. It was called Spider Verse, <laughs> just like the movie. It was called Spider Verse. Um, and I just I don't care anymore when there's you know thirty Spider Men on screen. I, I just don't give a shit. I, I, I just don't care. I literally or in the comic, I should say, there's an Uncle Ben Spider Man and Miles Morales and Peter Parker and Gwen and. And literally like 15, 20 other Spider-Man. I'm like, this is too many Spider-Man. <laughs> like, it's too many Spider-Man. Like, I don't, I can't get invested. There's too many of them. Wait a minute. You didn't like uh, Into the Spider-Verse? They introduced a bunch uh, I of I like the movie. No, no, no. See, they did like five. They didn't, in the comic, they did like, literally like hundreds of Spider-Man um, oh, were coming yeah. together to okay. fight this. Uh, so the, the movie, 
the Miles Morales movie isn't really as close to the that comic. Um, they only did like four or five. Well, I've only uh, seen three or four in this trailer, so you might be all right. Well, Speaking I don't even know how the, many there are. The there might only be one Spider-Man. Trying to introduce 10 characters was just a bad idea. <laughs> it, right, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's too many to care about. <laughs> just give me one or two, man. Like three. I, meanwhile, the only... Like in this trailer, they tried to have a moment where the, uh, Zendaya's character, MJ... Looks like she's going to die. I'm like, I don't care. As long as it's not Ned. I like Ned. <laughs> right. Don't kill Ned. I don't give a shit about MJ. Like, not the guy in the chair. <laughs> not, not Ned. I like Ned. Ned's great. So mm. die is fine. I don't have anything against her. They made her a lot more likable in the last movie, but um, I not really invested though. Like she's, I like her about as much as I liked Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy just being somebody that ends up killed for Spider-Man's motivation. So maybe they're going to kill her. Zendaya, she was falling maybe, in this trailer. Maybe, maybe not. I, I don't care either. Well, they, they made it look like <laughs> Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man Two. You know, when Gwen dies, so same thing. With Gwen Stacy out his hand. Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought they were going to do. I thought they're going to kill her instead. Her neck with the web. So, yeah, I doubt they'll do that though. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's my thoughts on Spider Man. I'm I'm surprised to hear that come out of my mouth because I I was really stoked until this new trailer, and then I'm just kind of like, oh, this God, looks like going to be a fucking mess. Old man, Jesus, I don't think I just have I just like what I like. I don't know what to tell you. It's not I'm not cranky. I like Shang Chi. It wasn't amazing, but I liked it. Um, uh, speaking of things that I didn't think I liked, I started getting into uh, James Bond movies. I decided uh, I started playing uh, GoldenEye on my N64, and that made me go down a rabbit hole where I was like, I'm going to watch Gold. GoldenEye was the first James Bond movie I ever saw. I saw one. it with Steve. I saw one. it with Steve and, and his parents. I remember going. It was a big deal to me because I had never seen a James Bond movie. He was talking um, through the whole thing. It was horrible. <laughs> I just would not shut up. But um, I was just like, Sean Connery's so much better. And, like, and Steve's like, you've never seen one. I was like, shut up. But um, but no, well, so Golden is one of my real, favorites. So I saw all four of those in the theater, I remember. Probably with you and your parents, or at least with you anyway, the four that uh, Pierce Brosnan did. They got successively worse. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. But I didn't even remember. I thought, I mean, it, Golden is a little corny. Uh but overall, I actually really enjoyed it again. I don't think I, I really watched it since then. Um, but I, overall, I thought it was it was solid. Then I went back and watched Doctor No, the very first James Bond movie, because I was like, let me let's let's delve down this rabbit hole. Maybe I maybe I'm a James Bond fan. I enjoyed Doctor No, which uh, really also informed me of how much Aust- how accurate Austin Powers is as it parodies <laughs> James Bond. You gotta watch. I had no idea. You gotta watch Goldfinger. I got a lot to watch. Um, I, I think I'm on from Russia with love right now. I haven't. Oh, you're, you're early. You're early. I, I, I like the Daniel Craig the ones. <laughs> Time um, to die. <laughs> I like the Daniel Craig ones a lot. I haven't seen the new one yet. Um, but I, I do want to I rewatched all four of those uh, before I came down. Really enjoyed those again. Um, they're a lot less corny, which I appreciate. Um, but, <laughs> Sean, Sean showed me the trailer. For the uh, Casino Royale, the one that's not licensed or the Peter not an Sellers. Albert, not an yeah. Albert Broccoli production or whatever. The Peter Sellers one. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. That was the trippiest fucking trailer I've ever it, seen Ted, in my life. Teddy Savalas. Like, Teddy Savalas. Like, what is it? Listener, if, you, if you're, if you you know, go check out this trailer for Casino Royale. It's the crazy. The original Casino Royale. I watched it because I was like, what? I wonder what the original one's like. What, and I was what, like, what Woody the Allen's fuck is it? this? <laughs> yeah, dude, it, Woody it, Allen's in it too, right? Woody yeah, Allen's in Woody it. Allen's Eddie Zavallis, Peter Sellers. Um, Have you seen it, probably, Rob? Yeah, I've seen it like a uh, hundred times. I just, oh man, I didn't watch bad. it. <laughs> it looks horrible. I'm not going to watch that one. Uh, it's a total it's just, different, it's a spoof. It is. It, it's just it's funny like to me because. Austin Powers. It's our, you know, it's like. Yeah, it's it in that vein. And but having it, only seen Casino Royale, the, the Daniel Craig version, I was really like, wow, this is vastly different <laughs> right. than what I expected. <laughs> now, that's not considered a Bond movie, right? An Albert Broccoli Bond? Or is it just Never Say Never Again? Is I think that the it's only like one? licensed by the Fleming estate or something. There's I don't think two. it's... There's two. Casino Royale and... Uh, never Say Never. 
Never like, Say Never. Uh, that is yeah. basically a remake of Thunderball. Yeah. Yeah. You, Who's you James to... Bond did Never Say Never? Who, who plays John Connery? But that one's not official, though? Nope. Oh, that's weird. Huh. So you haven't seen Thunderball yet? Dude, I've watched Dr. No. That's it. Uh-huh. And I've, I've part of the way through from Russia with love. Thunderball. That's um, the one. Thunderball's the one with the jetpack, right? Uh, I can't remember. I think so. In Thunderball, the one where he he, he just he's disguised as as an Asian person. Is that Thunderball? <laughs> you can't make you can't, can't make remember. that movie today. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, they were definitely remember. misogynistic. That's for sure, <laughs> and I'm sure racist as well. Well, like Doctor No is like really slow. It's it's not a very action packed mo- uh, movie. It was more it like a, I I like Doctor. Yeah, no. I, it was I good. thought that, but you see every be, being the first movie, you see all the things, or for me anyways, haven't haven't watched the the newer ones first. You see all the things are referencing. I mean, I I knew the character, I knew Q and M and Money Penny would be in there in some capacity, but you know, you got the gadgets, you got um, yeah, just a, a lot of the little things that uh, they've built the franchise on. Um, the defo- deformed villain seems to be an essential <laughs> part of it. You gotta have a deformed. That guy had like metal, metal hands. I really, um, I really like Blofeld from the latest ones. I really like, I like that actor. I liked his character. I love, I love everything about Blofeld. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I don't know. We'll see how far I get in my, my bond stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, over. Very- I, it's <laughs> over. You're not watching anymore. Yeah, 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 no, not. It's, it's not over. It's, <laughs> I, I'm I'm into it now. I spent my whole life thinking I just didn't like James Bond. I think I like James Bond now. So Rob knows more about those than anybody because they were on what TBS. Rob, uh, <laughs> you watch them with commercials. No, nah, Dad right. and I used to watch them. It was TBS, up. right? I don't know. We didn't have cable growing up. It was probably on Forty Three. Wow. Nah, they were like always all the on old cable. Ones, all the old. We never had cable growing up. Yeah, but so. Noonie did. We know, I didn't go down there to watch James Bond. I went down there Shit. to play cards. And <laughs> I, drink wa- beer. I went to watch everything because she had HBO. I was like, oh, can't wait to go over there. Right. <laughs> well, I'd go. I'd go, I'd go to Mike's behind the house. He had he had HBO when it first came out. That's where right. I watched Star Wars like a bil- billion times. It used to I think it used to come on like every night. <laughs> so I'd like it was, it's crazy. When you when you had HBO, you were privileged. That was the time we grew yeah. up in. Oh, well, he had, he always had the neighbor behind me. Always had like cool bikes, a bigger pool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he had all the good Star Wars toys, the Millennium Falcon. Rob's, you know? Rob's always he, going. He had over cable. There. Like he see you, Cle- Mom. He, he had the first gaming count, the ColecoVision. Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah. I remember playing Ladybug, like in his basement for hours. <laughs> I think I just went over there when he wasn't even home. Sometimes <laughs> uh, that's hey, where Rob. I broke my arm. <laughs> I was trying to learn how to ride a bike when I was like what six, seven, six. You broke your arm great. learning to ride a bike. Jesus, mm-hmm. the hell were you? Were you doing off road? Like, how do you... <laughs> no, I was on the concrete, and it. Uh, no, there, he had like a big patio of. So it was like a little bike, and then there were some blocks, like, from where they put the pool up, you know, for the foundation where the poles are, like, and my arm just, like, hit it perfect, and it was like, whoop, looked like a U upside down, oh. like an N. Ah, I don't like that. Yeah, like, oh. it, dude, I went over there so much. Steve, do you remember the ladder that... Uh, they built so I we could climb back and forth to one another's house. Yeah, was it Over behind the, the bar? Yeah, was... yeah, yeah. It was a ladder that they built, like a double sided ladder. You know, so you just walked nice. up and it went over the fence. <laughs> yeah. Do you talk That's to awesome. your? We could Do you go talk back to your neighbors now. Do you talk to what? your neighbors now? I know you talk to some neighbors. Do you talk to all your neighbors? Where here? Yeah, where you live now. Memphis? Yeah. Yeah, I talk to my neighbor across the street all the time. I know, but do you, you talk to all of them? Uh, neighbors next door. <coughs> um, and, yeah, 
pretty much. I have passing conversations with my neighbors. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have dinner with them. Yeah, we don't have well, any Ms. ladders Christina, or anything. I, I do, but <laughs> yeah. Do you have dinner with your neighbors, Sean? Uh, I can't remember the last time I talked to my neighbors. <laughs> I did kick a. Uh, they had left a pillow in our yard about a week ago, so I I kicked that back over. Uh, our na- we have neighbors from hell. They just throw trash over the fence. They let their dog run around without a leash. It's a they pit, purposely pit throw fence. trash in your yard. Yes, yes. Wow. We, and we've seen them. Maggie, Maggie saw one of the kids. This was years ago uh, when the kids were younger. One of their kids. Like literally, he just threw a piece of trash over the fence, and Maggie was outside with the dog. She was like, "Jacob, come and get the like." She like, fuck, or I don't know what she did. She made threw it back, but like, she fucking scared the shit out of him. Um, because she was like, she wasn't having that shit. And our one neighbor, she looks like, uh, she looks very similar to the Urukai from uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know. Um, exactly. That's what her face looks like. And her uh, daughter's face looks like that too. It's it's, it's they're so horrifically ugly people. They're models, then, huh? Yeah, in in Middle Earth, yes. <laughs> um, that's that's where they get gigs. But Looks like just some of the back on the menu, boys. <laughs> but they're just disgusting, rude, loud people. We always have horrible, horrible neighbors. I don't know how it ha- we're we're the ideal neighbors. We we don't talk to anybody. We don't make noise. We don't like cause a ruckus. We don't have dogs running through your yard. We don't throw trash in your yard. We, our dogs don't shit in your yard or on your <laughs> sidewalk. We we pull, bring our trash cans in. Our lawn stays mowed. Yeah, that's. I want to move in next to me. Yeah. But instead, like uh, the guy guy across the street, Logan's like, I don't know about them. I see the cops over there way too often. I'm like, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> um, just what is that everywhere that, I go? Was it just domestic violence? Why are they always over there? I have no. I know the the their kid, and by kid I mean he's probably in his late twenties, early thirties, has uh, been arrested for stealing. Um, so that's very cool. Uh, yeah, it's, I hate people so much. I just, you I want to get away from all of them. You live in the white hood. <laughs> I do. It's, it's Bruns Tucky, man. It's just, it's white trash. It's, it's so, it's not as bad as, as Akron or anything, but it's, I still manage to always like fall in with these fucking rednecks. Wait, how are you going to, never... how are you going to judge? We used to steal stuff all the time. I didn't steal I stole from grocery stores and like, yeah, that's what sto- that's stealing. No, 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 no. I think this is like theft, like breaking into people's shit and stealing like oh, personal oh, okay. property type breaking stuff. Breaking and entering. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steal. Yeah. Stealing from <laughs> grocery stores is fine. Remember when your mom um, caught you at the grocery store and you had to go talk to the oh manager and say, I'm sorry for stealing. That was so Kit-Kat. embarrassing. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was it sucked. I yeah. didn't learn anything. I still stole stuff. I got caught like three different times and it never stopped me. I would always I, make it out to the parking lot and then something would fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, what the? Why were you? I was stealing because I wasn't allowed to have any food of any kind. I don't so know. I was, I don't what know. were you stealing? I don't you know. had it You had it good over there. Because I like to it, eat. It was, before he, was always he there. He steal all the time before his anointment. <laughs> before they pour oh, oil on him oh i have a demon update uh it's a demon update. Kristen was telling me you, that dude we, we i wish i had an effect where we could be like demon update <laughs> this is the demon steve speaking like, that'll work we'll just we'll loop that next time uh Kristen was telling me a story when she was younger she has an older brother and a younger brother and they would chase her around the house throwing knives okay sound familiar Okay. Classic 80s behavior. Classic 80s behavior. But they threw these knives so hard, they stuck to the door. Oh, they wow. Would, they would throw knives at her, and there was a couple of knives that stuck in the door. Okay. So this is a Catholic household. So did they have an exorcism or I don't, Nope. I, I, guess, I guess they didn't think there was any anointing necessary <laughs> in that family. So I feel a little bit better of, about myself after well, hearing that story. <laughs> maybe it's all bullshit maybe possibly uh, it's yeah it's definitely all bullshit um yeah i think that's just classic 80s lock latchkey kid behavior though you get i never bored, threw a knife you... that stuck in a door did i rob no okay no i would have been sure impressed. I just, i'm like How'd you i am pretty <laughs> sure we were always sister... throwing remember uh back in the 80s it was like uh 
if you could get a butterfly knife or a, a, a throwing star, it was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that well, was the envy and I had throwing stars. Then. We yeah. were always going to. I was like, dude, how'd you get that knife to stick? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get the star to stick. <laughs> dude, ninja stars were all the fucking fag growing up, man. We were always trying to get our hands on ninja stars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember practicing with my butterfly knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's doing a visual gag, everyone. He's holding up his hand and pretending he only has three fingers Rob instead of forget. four. This is a podcast. I thought we were on YouTube. <laughs> we are. We are. Nobody watches on Nobody YouTube. Nobody watches that. Um, I don't know. I, I get it. I think uh, I'm pretty sure I chased my sister with a knife one time, um, like 90. percent Wait, where was this story? As I was getting trounced with the demonology, uh, dude. I I didn't want to draw focus away from from your spotlight, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> but uh, I I my memory, I I didn't. I honestly didn't do it out of anger. I I th- I was just having fun, and I. I thought it was fun to scare her. So I think that just makes me psychopathic or something, but, um, but I don't, I don't think my mom was home either. It was, again, it was classic eighties latchkey kid behavior. At some point you're going to grab a knife. You're going to chase a sibling. <laughs> it just happened back then. I, especially when you don't have a television, you got to entertain yourself. What are you, what are you going to do? Right. So chase people with knives. That's what I did. Right. And that's what everybody does. So, all right, we got to get in the dark night. Did anybody read The Dark Knight? Be I, honest. I did. I read the first chapter and part of two, and I was like, this is garbage. I'm done. <laughs> garbage? So, what garbage? What? It's just like, I didn't care. Oh, my God. I fucking love it, this If scene. I had to read a panel, a whole page that had little tiny panels on it. <laughs> right. I, dude, I was literally, I could, I had the TV <laughs> on in the background. I had What We Do in the Shadows, because Sean got me watching it again because he's been watching it finally after three years but uh i had it on the background so i couldn't i was dude i, I was like man i don't think my bifocals are working anymore i can't read this shit <laughs> and then i take yeah, them really? off and try and watch the tv just for a few minutes because there was a funny scene i put them back on i was going blind and i was like forget this do you have a do you have a like, strap do you have a strap on your glasses like <laughs> i need one i just picture you with the little the strap and the and he and always you, has you, the you, glasses at the edge of his nose not right, like on his nose I he's did. always wearing a, a cardigan it, like you know what i mean when you're reading those little panels from the dark night <laughs> so, so wait you just gave up because there was, too I was much? done after like one and a half i read the first one <laughs> wow so let's just recap listener um did it get any better oh rob dude it was really good out, it was really rob good. tapped out on a seminal legendary classic <laughs> story <laughs> after one issue when did it get better how i don't even know when it was bad like, I <laughs> really i didn't think it was that good the that's first that is one of my favorite that is literally the comic i that's what i think that's the very first comic i gave steve to try to get him into comics it was really? because it to me it was one of the it was one of the earliest comics i got to read the whole story and it just blew my mind as a kid like to see the violence and uh just how it tied into (laughs) so i I don't remember i don't know if i read all four issues i think i might have stopped after the first like (laughs) no i'm talking about originally when he got me Uh, because i i didn't remember any of these these uh, later stories um yeah, this is an all-time classic, and I, I think it justifies itself upon reading. I am shocked that this is the one Rob tapped out on. Yeah, um, yeah, this is this, really good, man. But now you can discount. Now everybody, listeners are just like their heads are probably reeling, and they're like, "I have to discount all his opinions from the past." <laughs> now he couldn't get through the Dark Knight Returns, the original one, not not the sequel, the Dark Knight Strikes Again or whatever. Yeah, but the original Dark Knight Returns. Um, wow. Dude, this this Bruce Wayne was a beast, man. He was like, I was, he was thick. He was thick and because he was old. You yeah, know, he put on like he was muscle, but he put on that layer of fat. And yeah, but I, older, you know? I loved it. I loved the look, right. everything, you know. And he's how scary was that Batman? Yeah, and and then you got to remember too. This is nineteen eighty six. Like, if you go read the Batman comics from eighty six, like aside from like Batman Year One and stuff, which was also Frank Miller. Um, this is not 
this this was not how they told Batman stories. This was, I mean, this was like, yeah, it was just deep. It had all these uh, political and, and social commentary. Dude, he kept trying uh, to. He, you know, it starts when he's retired, and he keeps trying to hold it at bay, and it just, it just can't because the right dude, the bat keeps he keeps uh, coming after him. You know, he just can't rest. This is who we. This is who he is. It was. It was great. It was really. And good. then, like the the way the Joker took over the David Letterman show or whatever he was yeah, on. Yeah, it was like the new. Uh, I wanted to talk about that. It was like the uh, the new Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix. I was like, oh, it's yes. the talk sh- the talk show where he kills people. When did the Joker yes. finally get out of uh, psychiatric? Uh, that was issue two, I think. Uh, I didn't make it. The end. Of, he was in, he was in like a state of catatonia or something, and then once he heard Bruce was out of retirement or Batman was out of retirement. Yeah. And he, he was like, Oh, I have reason to live again. <laughs> so then he's out murdering people. Well, and, dude, what about, what about that gang? And then the like the fight gang. he has the mutant gang, he, the fight he has with the, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I haven't read it recently, but in I my figured. defense, I have read this comic at least 10 times. I have a fairly deep knowledge of it. Even if I don't remember like individual character names, um, but yeah, you had the mutant gang, you had the mutant leader with the sharp teeth and like that weird way they talked about mm-hmm. the, um, yeah, he gets they call a, each other. He gets what? Like, didn't s- they like call each like scuds or something? I forget what yeah. it was. It was like yeah, different. It was some jargon. I was having trouble following because I, I was like, I do yeah. not know any of it was this, this language whole made up slang that they, they spoke in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he fights that guy ends up almost dead. Alfred saves him, and then like the new uh, Carrie, uh, Carrie Kelly is that her name? Carrie, yeah, the new Robin, yeah, yeah, the new Robin shows up and uh, had no idea there was a girl Robin, no idea. Oh yeah, and then um, then he goes back to fight that guy, dude. The way the you see that tank version of the Batmobile again. This is eighty six, dude. They weren't doing this shit yet. Yeah, um, you see that tank version. You see him when he he's like, uh. What did he say? Like, this isn't a mud pit. It's a, it's an operating table and I'm the surgeon. Or something. It was just so bad. Ass, yeah, dude. Because you he got it. Mean? He got his ass beat the first time. And is right. like, the second time he's like, I've got to, I've got to beat this guy in front of his crew, you know, right. To show him who's the man, you know? And he's, he's, he picks like this, uh, this mud pit or whatever. So he's kind of like, you know, the mutant has trouble with that, that uh, ground or whatever. So he's kind of on a level playing field this time. And dude, he just beats the shit out of this guy right in front of his fucking crew. And it's like, this is so fucking awesome. And he's taking damage, man. And I love it. Cause during, in, in this comic, like he, he'll point out like, Oh, you know, that bullet just grazed my rib, my, my, right. rib, my ribs floating. He's like, oh, that took a big piece of meat, but I'll be all right. You know, yeah. <laughs> and it, it, it but was... they show, too, that he had Kevlar on like under his bat symbol. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that scene, too, where where he first comes out of retirement. And the cops show up. He's like, these men are mine. And the cops like, oh, just hang back. bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, watch him work. Yeah. Um, and there's a big like there's a like Commissioner Gordon's like retiring and there's a new commissioner coming in and she's right. she's anti Batman, you know. Right. And at one point Batman just hits her in the face. <laughs> like, <laughs> like she points a gun at him or something. And she, he just punches her in the face and she's like he's like, Oh, that, that gun, that's cute. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I was like, this is great. <laughs> and then she realizes, you know, Batman she she pretty much switches in the end. She's like, right. you know, Batman She's is on board necessary. With yeah. But dude, I just, everything about the cop. I mean, I, the one thing I'll agree with with Rob is you had a lot of talking head panels, literally like with the newscasters that, and stuff. There was a lot of that, but that was setting of, up, that was setting up story background. Right. It know? was exposition without action. I can see how that can get for, but there's tons of action in this though. Just tons of brutal action, really stylized with the Frank Miller uh, art style. Um, like I said, it's just one of the, the stories where I was just like, holy shit, this is comic books. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it just, it just blew me away. Dude, there's, like it's, there's a, with the Joker, the whole scene with the Joker, you know, like where he, where he, he breaks his own neck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the, uh, Bruce is just, he's distraught because he, every time, you know, someone dies uh, by the Joker's hands, he's like, dude, that's another life. 
that is is gone because I refuse to kill this guy, you know? Right. And he struggles with that. And finally, at the end, they get in a fight and he just he like he snaps his neck and paralyzes him, you know? But he doesn't kill him, but he but no. he, you know, he paralyzes him. And the Joker's like, You fucking coward. You called him a right. coward. And then he just <laughs> he's like he finishes himself off by snapping his own the rest of his neck or whatever. And he's right. laughing the whole time as he snaps his neck. I was like, this and is he's got like that this is batarang psychotic. in his eyeball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was after Bruce hit him with a batarang in the eye. <laughs> so I was like, this is sick. This is sadistic. This is the fucking Joker. At its best, man. All right. So did you read The Killing Joke? That that too. Yeah, that was also the Joker at his best. Like, how great was that artwork, though? Like, yeah. How phenomenal is the artwork? Rob, did, I'm guessing you didn't read The Killing Joke. I saw the movie. <laughs> okay. So the movie sucks. Um, it is a bad interpretation. I was going to read What's... it. I couldn't find um, it. But uh, that's another one. Uh, same era. Uh, this one by Alan Moore and Brian Boland. Uh, on art and uh, again, the violence in the fun house, what he does to Barbara in front of Commissioner oh my Gordon. God, that was so fucked up, dude. Like th- he shoots Barbara in the gut and then like take it, takes her like her clothes off and takes pictures of her and then ends up capturing her, her dad and then stripping him naked and then showing him pictures of fucking Barbara as she's dying in fucking these pictures. Oh, Oh, so fucked up, dude. So fucked up. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> those are some of the standout moments. And then you have the joke at the end. <laughs> yeah, that's where Batman the, uh, laughs. <laughs> yeah, we're. Um, there was a lot of controversy about the way that comic ended for a long time because people people assumed because this was kind of an Elseworlds tale at the time, which is kind of like the Marvel What If uh, DC had Elseworlds. Um, oh, is that what that was? So it was outside of continuity, basically, is what it is. And um, he uh, he tells him the joke, and then he's laughing. And a lot of people thought that Batman killed him after that, uh, and they just didn't show it. Yeah, they but don't. They don't, don't. It just like fades out or whatever. Well, uh, they, he's he's got like his hands around his neck, right? And he's choking right. him. And it's then, up to interpretation. Yeah, but I think I don't think they ever meant it to to come off that way. Um, so nobody I think never, that was never my that was something I read about later. I never thought that. See, I didn't uh, I didn't think that either just because I, you know, I know Batman doesn't kill. Right. So I, I didn't. But again, the, the artwork was just phenomenal, especially for that era. It was they really stepped it up. The Joker looked horrifying in that his whole origin story with the red hood and his wife. And then you see how that influenced the Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, I'm assuming you saw that. Do you understood how? when when uh Heath Ledger's Joker would talk about his past and do you see the parallels between the Joker's origin in uh uh Killing Joke and you look you have a blank look on uh, your dude, face. I I'm I'm like wait, <laughs> I'm like what did I miss? Keep going, keep talking. He's well, did frozen. you see the Joker's origin in yeah. Killing Joke? Yeah, he, okay. he puts on but that he's, he's got a that... failed comedian. Uh-huh. And his and then he cut and his his wife ends up dead. So in The Dark Knight he he tells those stories about how he got his scars or whatever. To me, that was a reference to the killing joke, but he oh, would make okay. up different origins and everything. Okay. Um, and he talks about his wife, how you know she couldn't stand the look of you know what I mean. And uh, oh, that's, okay. and I know that's not like a straight adaptation, but I I feel like that was definitely an influence. Yeah. Um, I don't with, remember like his parents cutting on him in the comic though. No, no, no. They 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 no, did. What I mean is like when he tells a story stories. about his wife. Yeah. yeah, in the Dark Knight, he's just telling stories. You don't know if they're true at all. Mm. But I think the one about his wife, where um, he ends up cutting himself to make her happy, and she can't stand the sight of him or whatever. That just reminded, like, when his wife was like going off on him, and then she ends up dead suddenly. And like, it's uh. just, like, I don't know. It was just very fucked up and dark. And I, I thought I, I'm pretty sure that was some. Both of those comics were source material for. Christopher Nolan's uh, Batman universe and and Joker portrayals, especially. Okay, well, his wife didn't go that hard on him in the comic. No. Um, and she died by but, like an accidental electric uh, electrocution or something. I forget what it supposedly. was. Supposedly, I don't know what that. See, that was all very shady. <laughs> right, like I don't <laughs> it was know very what shady. Right, 
they were like, we need a reason for him to go uh, and fall. Right. I feel like the fall in those kind of chemicals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, if, yeah, th- but th- this, both those comics were big touch points for both Tim Burton and Christopher Nolan. What'd you think um, of the art in Dark Knight Returns? I love Frank Miller's style. Like, it's a little messy back then. Yeah, it's, um, it's too messy for me. I can't see what's going on in some of the panels. And he, he it was better in the, the first one we read. Yeah, year one. Yeah, year one. I well, he, that... he didn't he didn't do the art in that. That oh, was that um, makes sense. That I was, was Daniel Mazzucchelli. Oh, uh, that did the art in that? <laughs> well, that makes total sense now. Yeah, he just. I was, dude, I was thinking the that. same thing you did, Rob. I was like, why is this art so much worse? <laughs> yeah, a lot, so, a lot more squiggle vision. I, I I do like the stylized take though, and again, he refined his style. Like especially, in, you know, he did Sin City. It was to me, Sin City was a lot tighter. It was still very Frank Miller, mm-hmm. um, but it was a little bit more distinct as to what was going on. But dude, his splash pages were phenomenal. Like the images of Batman, uh, like the just the way he would draw him, um, always like looking up at him, kind of you know, just making him look huge. Yeah, um, dude, we, we didn't even talk about Superman was in this. Oh, dude, uh, Batman, Batman versus, versus Superman. Superman, the whole like, fucking. That was great. It, what reading? Now it. do you understand why I'm just like Zack Snyder read three comics yeah. in his whole fucking life, <laughs> and and and, and he it, didn't understand it, dude. The fucking relationship between Bruce and, and Clark is fucking great. Like there's, like they they get along, but there's obvious disdain. You know? Yes. Like he's like, what, what, I think I hold on. I mean, I wrote something down here. Oh, what he's like. uh one one of there's like a scene where superman he's in like the stoic pose he's got his leg up on a rock and everything and and bruce is in the background and and bruce is speaking he's like everything's perfect and then he opens his mouth (laughs) 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 fucking great man he's just goofing on superman the whole time see why i was so angry at batman versus superman there's a reason they fought in the dark Knight returns, they had a lot of history together. Now Superman has become a government agent. Mm-hmm. He just works for Ronald Reagan or whatever. Yeah. And, and he's become this, like this pawn. He's not, he doesn't have his independence anymore. He doesn't really stand for America. He stands for the government now. Mm-hmm. And so you have all that history coming to, you know, coming to a head basically. And then Batman, he makes this suit, he electrocutes him, he enlists a one-armed green arrow because Superman ripped his arm off at some point. I was wondering like, what that, I was like, oh, he must have ripped his arm off because Oliver did not like Superman. So yeah, I was like, that oh. was definitely the implication is that Superman took his arm and that's why Batman went to him and, um, you know, hitting him with the Chris, kryptonite arrows and all this stuff. Again, the Zack Snyder lifted, but without understanding why that stuff was so impactful in the comic. It mm-hmm. wasn't just because Batman and Superman were fighting. It's because of what they were fighting over and their history together. And it literally, that's why I kept saying Batman versus Superman is like if they started the Marvel Universe with Captain America Civil War. If that was like the, the first or second movie, you'd just be kind of like, yeah, you're like, what? What? Where, what? Why do they hate each other? I thought they were <laughs> heroes. You know what I mean? You had to build up to that tension where, mm-hmm. and then you literally had people split. You had, you had Team Iron Man and Team Captain America. Whereas I'm pretty sure everybody who saw Batman versus Superman was just Team Batman. You know yeah. what I mean? Like mm-hmm. <laughs> they they didn't develop the characters enough for that battle to mean anything. It was stupid. And they but showed in the they comic. Sh- yeah, they showed how strategic and uh, you know Batman was, and how he's always plotting and scheming, and he always has you know the uh, the escape plan and everything. Like uh, he he pretty much uh, knew what was going to happen with when I don't know if you remember, but there was like a a nuke that went off. And it set off like this, right. uh, uh, electromag or whatever. What is it called? E- EMP. EMP. Yeah. And it knocked out all the power and everything. And, and like Bruce was like, yeah, I saw that coming, you know? Right. So he, yeah. had, it, it was, it was great. And again, back to Christopher Nolan, dark Knight rises, Batman fakes his death at the end. Somebody finds the bat cave. Very similar. All mm-hmm. very similar. Not the same, but similar. A lot of influence there hey, you, on those properties. Do you remember at the end of Dark Knight Returns, Alfred just strokes out? Yes, he just dies. Alfred <laughs> just, dies. I was like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he blows up on the Batcave and then walks outside and dies. He's, he's like, done. He's like, uh, I didn't see that coming. The fact that he was still alive at all is pretty amazing. <laughs> um, he just stroke. He just strokes out. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> but I, 
I give both of these comics four stars, four stars each. They are so influential, not only on comics, but on movies, um, on on uh, the the looks of Batman and the Joker that we, you know, the, the best, some of the best known looks uh, and designs are from these comics. Some of the, the characterizations and dialogue are from these comics, settings, uh, touch points, so much stuff goes back to these comics. Uh, when you think about the Batman movies and TV shows and everything else, uh, just I I can't say enough nice things about them. Um, what do Rob, you think, Rob, 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 what did <laughs> what, what did you like at the part you read? Do you remember? Yeah, I made it one chapter. It was okay. I mean, I, I think it sounds like it got a lot better. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to read it. I'll read it. I'll read it. Jeez. They introduced awesome. they introduced Two Face in the first one. I know the he, Killing Joke. I thought that was good. That's very dark. The Killing Joke is definitely dark. Yeah, but see, they added all this stuff to the the movie that wasn't in the comic. The whole Bat Girl Batman relationship was not in the comic book. That was yeah, all tacked I, on. I didn't stupid remember it. Bullshit. Cartoon either. Did you get to the the part where Harvey Dent? Gets plastic surgery and his face is fixed. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you you read you read pretty far. Oh, that was almost the end of the first issue. Oh, explain to me why there is a flying like the Joker has flying babies and a guy that <laughs> they're dolls. They're not babies. Oh, okay. They're, they're dolls. And they're there's not... a guy that but... smells like milk. Supposedly, that's uh, I don't like. Is that one of his main? Like I I forget who that was now, but yeah, that's a um is that the toy maker? I can't I can't remember who that character is. Sounds like the toy but, maker. I but I can't remember but it's like exploding babies. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? They're not babies, they're dolls. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, they look like babies. <laughs> they're they're just dolls. Like the, yeah, that's what dolls look like. They look like babies. No, a lot of the time. dolls are not common. animated. <laughs> you well, need these are to, robotic. <laughs> Steve, you need to watch uh, the Batman series with your kids, mm, so you learn yeah. all these characters. Yeah, I have tons of DC animation to watch. You should uh, start on it. Yeah, I, uh, I did. I started the <laughs> Killing Joke. No, not with, with your, your children. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I'm talking. You need to watch Batman, Batman. the animated series. Superman from the animated 90s. series is good too. But, Ain't nobody got but, time for that. I but, uh, uh, I really enjoyed this, Rob. You got to finish reading it, man. It was good. Yeah, it sounds like I do. <laughs> he's not. Yeah, going he's to. not going to read it. No, <laughs> I can't not. believe this is the first one you tapped out on, or at least well, the first one you admitted. I to tried. Out on. It just it didn't get that good. It wasn't intriguing. I was laughing at what we do in the shadows. Well, don't watch other stuff when you're reading. It's like, a much more it's more fun watching TV than reading. You know, I uh, liked in this last comic too, he was he was always like he was saying, Well, that was lucky. You know, like when he's getting shot at, he's like, Ooh, right. lucky, lucky. <laughs> he's yeah. like he's like, Can't believe I'm still alive. <laughs> How far did you get from what, what we do in the shadows? What did you make it to season two yet? Uh, I think we're up to season three now. Did you did you see the Mark Hamill episode? Yeah, I saw the Mark Hamill episode. <laughs> that did you was like solid. It? Yeah, that that was solid. It wasn't my dude. My favorite one is still the cursed hat, man. Like, oh just, yeah, that's a good one. That one was just fucking killing me, man. Where he just kept putting this hat on and and not just just like. That fucking hat is cursed. He's like, it's not cursed. And then, like, he hands it to his familiar, and immediately a bookshelf falls on him and kills him. And, like, <laughs> like it's, it's not cursed. Was that the one where, uh, was that the, the, the semen, the witches trying to steal the semen? That was a different one. No, it? that was a different one. Okay. With the witches. <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoy the show a lot. It's, it's, it's a good show. Nandor's probably my least favorite character. I like, I like, Laszlo is hilarious. His yeah, voice, he, he, yeah, he steals and everything story. is delivery. Nadja is very, very funny, and of course, I love Colin Robinson, the energy vampire. Like that dude is fucking. I just I, every time he <laughs> starts talking, I start laughing because every time he talks, he's feeding, and it's so funny. Because uh, Steve, to explain and listener, since we've gone off on this, what what we do in the shadows tangent, the TV show, 
there's a, a vamp, there's like those three regular vampires and there's Colin Robinson, the energy vampire who looks like Dilbert basically. <laughs> and he, uh, he's a day walker. So he works in an office and he just goes up to people. He's like, Hey, what'd you guys do this weekend? You know, I was working on my mower and, uh, Have you and s- like, he, he just sucks the energy from, and it's so fucking funny. Cause every, as soon as any, as soon as he starts talking, no matter what's happening, he goes in to energy vampire mode. They could be like, Oh, what do we do now? We've killed it. We've, we've killed the main vampire. What do we do? And he's like, well, you know, if you hadn't have done this, you wouldn't, you could have avoided <laughs> just like, it just like starts immediately. Like, up, every Alan Robinson. <laughs> and, and they call him by his full name the whole time. Um, if you like, and, uh, if you like uh, Matt Barry, you definitely need to watch uh, toast toast of London or toast or whatever. It's called. Uh, okay. Well, like I said, I saw him in um, uh, Garth Marenghi's uh, dark place. Uh, my friend John had recommended that to me and I, I didn't watch all of it, but I, I like, I liked some of what I saw. I never got like, uh, like heavy into it, but he was always very funny. Uh, again, his, his delivery and his voice, yeah, he, uh, uh, Matt Berry, fucking hilarious. Um, yeah. I saw the movie. I'm, I'm, I still have yet to watch the series. So I'll start. Oh, dude, I'll start you that you should week. definitely check it out. It's yeah. There's only three seasons so far. Uh, were they like 20 minute episodes or are they an hour? Yeah, 22, 23 minutes. Okay. Um, it's like a sitcom. Yeah. And man, it's, it's a solidly yeah. funny show. Uh, dude, I, I, I had so much fun laughing while you were down here. I was like, I need to start watching more comedies again. God <laughs> damn. I was laughing so hard at Austin Powers that I almost blacked out. Like I was, <laughs> I was laughing that hard. <laughs> we, we stayed up one night, Rob, and we were just watching Austin Powers. And we saw it originally in the theater. And we were like, you know, what is this? Is this going to be any good? We ended up loving it. But I hadn't seen it in a long time. And oh my God, man, I was just, I was dying when he was talking, when he's in that, that psychiatrist's office or whatever, they're in group yeah, therapy. Yeah. Group yeah. therapy. <laughs> he busts out meat helmets and everything. <laughs> I just, I lost it, man. A traditional uh, childhood. <laughs> a traditional. Yeah, Steve, dude, we had a great time uh, for sure. We, we laughed our asses off. We laughed at that. We laughed at fucking Twilight. Cause Twilight is one of the God. worst, best, best worst movies ever i had the no idea it was that bad because i saw it like when it first come out came out and man i don't remember anything like when they start running up the hill god damn that's comedy gold man. yeah it's <laughs> and then when he starts sparkling <laughs> it's so fucking bad and I, uh... it's funny is i i was telling becca about it and i said i said special defects and she thought i like made an error when I was speaking. I meant to say special effects. I was like, oh no, 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 no. Defects. Special defects. <laughs> That's what this movie has. You need to see it. And she was like, oh my God. Yeah. It was so bad. It was so fun to watch and just shit all over. And the whole time I'm sitting there, is there a baseball scene? And Maggie's like, I don't know what movie. I'm like, it's gotta be. And this, this is the only one I've seen. And they start playing baseball for no fucking reason whatsoever. <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. It was uh... And they line up like the bad vampires and the good vampires. And they have that scene where like they're going at each other, like growling. I'm like, oh boy, this is bad. Well, oh, they can only bad. play when there's a lightning storm because of the <laughs> Oh, dude, there's a scene in what, in what we do in the shadows. They decide to play kickball and they play the same music from that scene in Twilight <laughs> in what we do in the nah, shadows. Uh, it's, really fucking, shut yes, up. it's fucking hilarious. It's fucking great. <laughs> because, like Maggie and I were watching it. It was because like, that music started up. I was like, oh my God. You, was, you notice <laughs> like of all the guest star vampires they have, n- that no mention of Twilight or any character from there. <laughs> Dude, they do mention Guillermo's watching Twilight at some oh, point. Is he? <laughs> and even in the very first episode when the... Uh, when the uh, the Baron is coming to visit, he's like, "I want to go get glitter. I want to wear, oh, wear that's glitter." Right. That's right. Yeah, he's like, "I want to have Mander glitter on me, like Twilight." Glitter. Yeah, <laughs> they put it on his face when the yeah, Baron had, wakes up. <laughs> when the Baron shows up, he's just got glitter all over his face. Streamers and glitter. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who is he the kept guy? Calling it. Who face is- it. Take take the take your mom's uh, meds to her. Hey, who is the guy that? I liked that had the constipated look on his face all the time. 
Uh, I forget his name. He looked horrified at all moments. I don't. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he always just he always looked like he'd either just shit himself or he's about to shit himself. <laughs> like, that was that. I remember the thing. I like. I remember seeing. It, I'm like, what is that guy's deal? And Maggie's like trying to explain. Like, oh, he he feels everything. He's very sensitive. I'm just the whole time he's on screen. I'm just dying laughing because I'm like, what direction did they give that actor? Were they like? Pretend you're clenching your butt cheeks and there's no <laughs> toilets for miles. Like that's and it's action. so bad. Right. Go. And he's just like, oh God. Like Dude, I was <laughs> like so bad. Like when you said let's watch Twilight, I'm like, what the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? Why would we watch Twilight? Ma- Maggie texted me. She said his name is Jasper. She Jasper, can that's right. Jasper. Maggie. All the bad movies you own, Steven, you don't have that one. Right? No. Shocking. I, I'm pretty he sure has I- Fifty Shades of Grey, which is do you know what that is? That is somebody's fan fiction of Twilight is what 50 shades of gray is. They wrote, it's like some other writer was inspired by Twilight and she created her own character. Really? I didn't know. Yeah. That. I, ha- I have the second one too. Um, and not only I've never the first seen one, it. I have the second one. Have you watched I, them? Um, or I, just still fast, in the package? I just fast forward to the tits. I feel like those, I've never seen any of those, but I feel like those would be fun movies to watch possibly as yeah, well. Yeah, we should. That's, that's a good one. Uh, oh, man. I had Twilight. Yeah, watching I, I you must watch... have saw it. I saw it at the theater. I must have if I didn't buy it on DVD. But watching you watch Austin Powers, since you hadn't seen it in so long, like me and Maggie watch it fairly regularly. We watch all three of them, but uh, watching you enjoy it like you'd never seen it before was actually really funny. It's been a long time. Because you were you were like you were laughing so hard, (laughs) you almost passed the fuck out. (laughs) And I I think you only had like three beers while I was down there, so I think I might be help if I'm around. I help you beat your alcoholism, so that's a plus. He's had three beers in the last. (laughs) Right. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm drinking right now. Yeah, I've had three, <laughs> three, three's the limit now. I'm too old. I can't do it anymore. But yeah, that was fun, man. We had a great time. Oh, it, and we it, ate. I'm pretty sure I oh put on about God. 15 pounds. We ate so fucking much. It was ridiculous. Memphis does have good pizza. I, all those. I sneezed and collapsed in front of Sean once. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain this. So Steve, Steve being old and fat, like all of us, um, just is <laughs> all of that uh, is, is uh, it weighs on him like physically. And I, I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, he sneezed much like the Jonah Hill character in get him to the Greek when J- when he's trying to keep the heroin in his butthole and he, he does like this sneeze where it's like, <laughs> like that's literally, it's all I heard was like, like this little sound. And then he fucking dropped like a sack of fucking rocks, just dropped to the couch. It was like, Oh, my back. And it, was, it was quite possibly the funniest thing that happened while we were down there. I've, and I could not stop laughing. I've been having <laughs> back problems. Listener. <laughs> I've I've uh, I've been having spasms lately at work, and, and when I when I sneeze, it really hurts. This little tiny, like girly child sneeze, like I, it's the funny because it wasn't even you think it was like a big sneeze, but it was literally like, and then and he just dropped it was, as he's going down. He's like, oh my back, and he's just laying there, and I just fucking lost it. I feel like I'm the only one who saw it. And it was so fucking funny. I don't know why. I don't know why I have a girly sneeze. Is because my dad used to sneeze so loud he would embarrass. He still me. does. Yeah, he still does. Yeah, he does we'd the be whole, out. Achoo! Yeah, we'd be out in public. <laughs> he'd be like, "Who is that?" I'm like, "What the fuck?" And so went every, the opposite way. Yeah. Ever what since does the, back spasms have to do with your legs falling out. It just fell out, dude. It because it hurt. It, it hurt. I'm like it you sad. lose. I know, but how do you lose strength in your legs? It's man. in my lower back. Uh, it was the amount of pain. I, I think guess. it was so painful. Well, it just dropped. Well, I knew the couch was behind me, so I was like, I'll just fall on the couch. Steve is the guy who he had a pain. He had a uh, a what's I forgot the fucking word. Uh, a muscle, not a muscle spasm. What, what do you call that? A esophageal they, spasm. No, no, I'm not talking about that. This was in your leg. Oh, um, cramp. You got a cramp. I couldn't think of that. Oh, cramp. that was what you're looking for. <laughs> he was, he was in line at Taco cramp. Bell. John's like, what's the himself? most basic of words? 
These are the words I forget most often. Like it's getting really bad, guys. Like I, I don't know. It's it's an aging thing, and the fact that I don't really read anymore. So those two things coupled together make it so that I forget the most simple words. And anyway, so th- I wasn't there for this. This was a story Steve told me, but he was in line at Taco Bell, and I, I assume they still have like the whole fucking like carnival line thing that you have to go through. Yeah. Uh, but that's what they had back then. And you told me you were like holding on to a bar. You got a cramp in your leg that hurt so bad <laughs> that you almost blacked out. Yeah. You like caught yourself on the bar. Yeah. Before it, you went down. Yeah. And then you went out, and then you told me you'd be in this. This is actually fairly common behavior, but it's still very funny because you were embarrassed. You kept like half falling over like, right. the, like it was normal. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, right. You know, you know, like when you make a fool of yourself in public, you know, uh, you kind of uh, like, yeah, I meant to do that. So I'm right. just going to keep pretending to fall over. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Just brilliant. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> He's embarrassed because he almost had a medical but emergency. Dude, I remember because like I was like, oh, my God, this it hurts and I'm blacking out. You know, it's like <laughs> this, this reminds me of the dark night. Sorry, I had to get back to the dark night. There was some really cool panels where Bruce was taking so much damage. They would he would like go in and out and they show like black panels and then him coming back. So anyway, yeah. anyway, back to my story. Yeah, that's what was happening. And, you know, because of the the line that the, the line you had to used to go through with the with the bars set up at Taco Bell, I was like ping ponging off these bars <laughs> because I was blacking <laughs> out. So like people are just looking at me. I'm like, well, what do I do? What, what I do I like, do? I need tacos. Uh, I need tacos. I'm just going to play it off. Uh, I'll just but keep doing this, it for a couple more seconds. You, all this to say, Steve doesn't handle pain well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, dude, I get cramps all the time, but I'm not like falling out. Uh, yeah. And, and like you said, your esophageal spasms yeah. those are two other times you passed out from it's, a, a It pain. sounds like when Steve yeah. gets pain, he just blacks out. It's he like, just blacks the fuck just out. Shut down. There's shut twice. it all down, there, everybody. Shut there is, it down. There is twice with Sean that I have hiccups so hard that I have passed out. <laughs> <laughs> twice one with, once was at chick-fil-a we're like we're, yep. we're just eating chicken this was in memphis when when sean right. used to live here and i i was like Hip! and i was like oh god that hurt and then i just fall on the ground and <laughs> sean's like right out <laughs> what did you do that way you, did you just felt I, I just remember what I saw is you were literally doing like the whole work in the turkey through thing <laughs> and just working the turkey like, through. Uh, uh, and then like your eyes just rolled back in your head and you were sitting in a chair and you like the chair just slid backwards <laughs> and you just were flat on the ground on your back <laughs> with your eyes like half open, but like rolled back. So I got up and I, I check your pulse. I check if you're breathing. <laughs> Somebody from the kitchen's like, should I call 911? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then like you were out for like 10, 20 seconds. And then like I came back, I'm, I'm like just checking your vitals. And you're, you're like, literally, you just opened your eyes and you're like, am I on the floor? <laughs> like you had no idea what happened. <laughs> And I, and I, to this day, I always, always like, man, it would have been so funny if one of us had been like, Hey, don't try the chicken, you know, just like, <laughs> don't eat the chicken. Yeah. Don't have the chicken. But then I was, I was at home visiting Sean again in Ohio and we were just driving in the car and I was taking a sip of Pepsi <laughs> and I hiccuped again. I was like, Oh no, no, not again. He, he knew it was, he was sitting in the passenger seat. I remember we had, we had a mountaineer at the time I was driving. We had just come from McDonald's. So you're probably drinking a diet Coke like usual with 300 fucking ice cubes in it. And you took a sip and like you, you swallowed it wrong. And you're like, Oh no. <laughs> like I put my arm. Cause like literally this is what happened again. Your eyes, your eyes went white like rolled back and then like your one of your arms just shot up in the air like <laughs> and then you and i was literally and then i put my arm across you we were in a parking lot so i just i had stopped and i put my arm to hold because you were like falling forward so i caught you you drooled all over my arm <laughs> and i just sat there staring at you and then like 10 seconds later you're like it happened again didn't it I'm like yeah can you please stop doing that i know it's only every 10 years but please stop doing that when i'm around dude what is up with you, you you're like cursing his family son i'm and telling you man it's his like son his wife jesus I, I think sean's got the demon in him it's not me yeah. it's fucking sean wow i he's you're lucky i'm around yeah you definitely saved my you saved my life a couple times 
I don't know about that, but um, at least you weren't driving because that would have been bad. Oof. If you normally, I'm you were the you're the one who drives when we're together. Yeah. I hate driving so much. Yeah, so. why were you driving? That's not... that was fortuitous. I think maybe you just didn't have a car at the time or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, we've had some moments. <laughs> I am still trying to figure out what comic I want to read. I, I always forget to Rob, do this. Rob, I cannot believe you did not read this one. This one was so good, man. It just, so there was good. too many words. Is that why? Or? It got better, evidently. Like you had just trouble seeing okay. it and you just gave up? Is that that's why? Man, I got to one of those full panels on number two of just talking heads. And I was like, yeah, I'm out. Like, wow. I ain't got time for this. This doesn't bode well. <laughs> Sean's like going forward. Next we're reading the encyclopedia. Right. I gotta find something here. There um, were, there were, a, there was a lot of panels like that throughout the whole series. And there were like 50 page issues. So it was, it was bulky for sure. Uh, we read all those already. Rob, you said you wanted to read Sex Criminals. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think you should let Rob pick a comic. Okay, Rob, what do you suggest? That way, yeah, I don't know. That way, he he can't he what, can't what, not what, read. Why it. would I pick a comic? <laughs> I have no idea what what's out there. Hey, let's. Read I can Far- pick a character. I've been reading Far Sector. It's pretty good. Have you heard about that? I don't that? even know what the hell that is. Is that Farscape? I don't know what that is. Oh, never mind. But I have no idea what that is. Um, I was actually going to pick... Have we read The Goon yet? Mm, nope. All right. We read Bone. We read Bone, but we didn't read The Goon. We did read Bone? Or maybe not. I read it. I don't know. I'm reading so many <laughs> comics, I'm confused now. <laughs> Uh, we only find right. them when they're dead is a good series. There actually is a series I'm interested in just because of the title. I haven't read it yet. It, it's called uh, There's Something or Something is Killing the Children. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have that in my but queue. I haven't started yet. I haven't read it yet. Um, it's is by, that uh, DC or is that? I think that's it's DC. Indi- I, actually, yeah, it might be independent, but it's a writer who who's worked on Batman, James uh, <laughs> Tiny and the Fourth. Um, however, I think we're going to go with the goon. We'll just read like the first six issues of the goon. I don't remember how the, I where do you find the goon? Something. Should be on comiXology. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> why am I paying for, why am I paying for DC and Marvel when we don't ever do anything? Well, you had DC and you still didn't read it. So I, <laughs> I, didn't, I don't the care anymore. Joke wasn't there. Why wasn't the killing joke on it? I feel like it's on there. I no, I looked for it. it, dude. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. I, find it. I, I it bought it on Comixology. Yeah, yeah. it would. But not Dark Knight Returns was on there, Rob. Yeah, no, I know. That's why I read the first one and part of the second. Yeah. Huh. So what? Uh, so yeah, so what are we reading? <laughs> the Goon. Uh, the Goon. One through six. <laughs> Let me look it up on Comixology real quick and make sure it's. Do you just always there. say one through six, or is that like the end of a story? Yeah, yeah pretty much. It's it's yeah. a pretty common collection size. Um, I have uh, I, I have I issue one and two in physical form. Well, it looks like I, I was hoping that they were available. What is Moon Knight? Why don't we do Moon Knight or something like that? All right, let's do Moon Knight. Let's do Moon Knight. <laughs> Which volume of Moon Knight do you want to read, Rob? I don't know. Start with the origin. I don't know anything about Moon Knight. Oh, Bushman. All right. I'm going to override that one. Uh, I don't <laughs> want to read that old shit. Um, let's do... Uh, How about a, a renewed Let's do that. Origin I've already story. read it. I don't have to fucking read. I can just go into the next podcast. Definitely can't do that now. Can't give Steve an advantage. He doesn't really um, go... He, he, does, he didn't start going insane really at all in the series i read let's read something where he's losing his fucking mind um i'm trying to find the era i used to read forget the this is good who worked on it this is good podcast material this is great star wars oh here we go here we go moon knight 2006 um and it it's called the the first story is called the bottom I don't know how many issues it is. It's one through six. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we will read Moon Knight 2006 
the bottom oh, is the name of the story. I'm very excited. One, one, Moon Knight one through six. Uh, let me see if I can find this is by Charlie Houston and David Finch. David Finch is an amazing artist. Uh, it's on Comicsology Unlimited. It's probably on Marvel Unlimited too, Rob. Um, I right. I'll look. For so it. I I know uh, nothing but, about this character. I know that. Let's do it. I, Oscar Isaac, not Oscar Isaacs. The guy from Star Wars is going to play Moon Knight. That's all I know. Yeah, that's his yeah. name, isn't it? And I know what I he looks right. like. Doesn't he have like a white hoodie or something? He's he's got a white outfit for sure. Yeah, I read thir- so Moon Knight. I read all thirty three issues of the first uh series the first run holy and shit so i'm super excited to see this this uh marvel modern mm-hmm. or modern oh the the new show yeah I'm, I'm like oh i'm so happy that i know something going in like this is gonna be great oh uh, and what did you rate the uh the batman comics we read what's, what's your rating oh dude this is a four for sure man i love this oh, this was great both of them uh killing joke uh yeah not as much i like the dark knight returns more the the okay. killing joke was i was more like i was too disturbed <laughs> <laughs> i was like i don't like reading this. See, that's a good thing to me that's, that's <laughs> it sounds great. like four stars uh yeah <laughs> but the the dark knight returns four i'll give three and a half for the the killing joke there is a series I really want to read, but it's not available digitally, and I hope it becomes available so we can read. It's called Big Man Plans, and I want you guys to read it. Uh, it's by Eric Powell, the guy who created The Goon, him and someone else. I don't, I don't remember the other creator. Um, but yeah, disturbing. Uh, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I want I want to do it one day. Hopefully it makes it to digital. I know they're releasing a, a new version of it in... Um, like soft cover or hard cover. So hopefully it comes to uh, digital as well. I can see why uh, Dark Knight Returns, you know, is one of the the ones that went down in the annals of comic book history. It's it's really good, man. Can't believe yeah. you didn't finish it, Rob. God, so disappointed. I feel left out, man. So disappointed. <laughs> <You> <laughs> I'll give you my Are rating. You gonna... It is uncompatible. <laughs> uncompatible, okay. <laughs> well, what, what, uh... was the, what was his TV that kept saying? <laughs> What was it? Non-compatible. Not, not support. Not, not support. support. That's what not, I meant to say. Not support. <laughs> not support. I give her a not support. Are, are you going to read Moon Knight, though? Yeah, sure. Okay. I plan on I'm it. Concerned now. I can honestly say I plan on reading the comic. Rob has no interest in this, com- this <laughs> podcast whatsoever. Yeah, I got a brand new computer, new internet, and this might be my last one. This- this is no, this is great. Like having Rob, I can hear you the whole time. This is fantastic. You need to plug into your hard drive. You've been squiggly the whole time. Okay. It'll show up. Like fine I can't see you. your face. You don't need to see I, my face. It's, it's fine. It's better than it's ever been. I will yeah, say the that. The sound is good. You know what is nice? Like now that Rob's not here, when he tells stories, he always gets so animated because he's Italian and he talks with his hands that when he tells stories, he pounds the bar. Like, Every time he tells a story, so Rob does not have the bar anymore. So there's, I haven't heard any thumping in the background at all. Yes, this is nice. <laughs> a little middle finger finger action from Rob there. All right, so let's wrap it up. Let's wrap um, it. Uh, Moon Knight one through six, uh, 2006. 2000, 2006 series. If you want to read along at home, uh, probably be back in about two weeks. <laughs> I, don't I think that's a. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Rob will not be back. In two we're gonna weeks. do. We have to do like uh, another podcast called "Rob Doesn't Want to Read a Comic," <laughs> <laughs> but he does it anyway. Rob, just hey, wants- you know what? We didn't talk about this podcast. What's that? Politics. Yeah, that's good. Did not good. Let's and I'm, not, I'm of- not gonna. I'm not gonna start. I just good. we're just gonna no. end it yeah, there. End it. <laughs> Let's get out. Of I here. thought you were going to bring up Mario Party and get me started, <laughs> but we're not going to go there either. So, turn all right. Off now, the bonus. You, you stars. actually beat all you have to do is turn off the dirty. bonus stars. That's it. And it's not Mario Party. All right. <laughs> you going to turn off field goals and football next? Like what the hell, man? That's the, that's just that's what Mario Party is. Dude, turn off the bonus stars. It's not. You don't have to play bonus stars. 
it's still not fair. It's, Literally, people are just like, I'm going to steal your star now. <laughs> like, it's mine. Dominic had it out for me. All right. I said I wasn't going to get into this. We got to go. And this is, so, that's, hey, that's the only game my kids can legitimately beat me <laughs> <laughs> because of the bonus stars. <laughs> because because of the rubber banding. Yes, absolutely. Right on. So, all right. We're we'll out. We'll be back. Peace. <laughs>